there seems to be some some miscommunication, some misinformation spreading that I would be late to stream ever. Yeah, right. Never. <laughs> I would never. I was here on time. I've always been here on time. I've never been late, and if anyone tries to tell you otherwise, they're lying to you. Um, Rook, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never, sorry. Uh, I st I'm stuttering. I st I'm just stuttering because I just can't believe the um, invalidation, the invalidity of the this <laughs> the, these um accusations levied against me. Oh shit! When I raise my arms, everything goes more red. <laughs> That's cool, <laughs> guys. I've never been late to stream. <laughs> to be fair. Today's been a weird day. I um I didn't eat for like 19 hours cuz I don't never eat at school. I don't like to. Which is really bad cuz school is a big portion of your day and not eating that many hours is not good for you, but yeah, so normally I eat dinner and I eat right like at 3 o'clock when I get home from school. But today I got home and I took a shower and then I just kind of lay in bed and and scrolled through YouTube shorts for like an hour and a half. Not a good idea, because I didn't eat until, like, 5 or 5.30. So, um, and then I just kind of, like, ate, and then I just kind of was so tired, and I just, like, had to sit there and kind of rest while watching YouTube. Like, I was just sitting at my chair, like, kind of falling asleep. This is so old, what are you even doing? I can't even bring myself to do the copy pasta. <laughs> Fit is on point, thank you. I got made fun of my outfit today at school. I felt like shit. It was such a it's such an L. But then this other friend of mine uh tell, told me I looked cute and I was like, thank you. I wasn't wearing this. This is just my stream fit. I was wearing something else. I was wearing sweatpants and I mean I'm wearing sweatpants right now too, but you can't see that. <laughs> but I was like in a more comfy outfit. I was wearing flannel. Flannel's my vibe. Um it, are you saying that the game is old? Because I know. I know it is, but it just seemed like the perfect thing to do for Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? I mean, what else was I going to do? Play Honey Pop? I don't think that's good for Twitch. I, I don't think that's a good idea. I didn't refill my water bottle before stream started. So if I have to go and uh, refill that in the middle, my bad. Are you going to focus? Yeah, hopefully. Or no. Okay. Is that, I don't know how the game works. Am I Mr. KFC and I'm, am I trying to fuck? Or am I trying to get fucked by Mr. KFC? Fla okay, well, I don't know how you... Rook, do you know how to spell flannel? F-L-N-L-A-N-N-E-L? F-L-A-N-N-E-L? <laughs> They're my favorite. The last one, I would fuck the KFC man. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to get into Mr. KFC's pants? Haven't you guys seen... Isn't there, like, an ad that's, like, basically a short film of Mr. KFC trying to fuck some woman or something? I feel like Matt Pat made a theory on this. Um, <laughs> who doesn't want to fuck the KFC? Who doesn't want to fuck Mr. Chicken? <laughs> Dude, um, I've recently had some ideas for YouTube series. I'm thinking I'm just going to beat Cuphead. I'm just going to bring it back to Cuphead. I feel like that's a game. I've, it's, I've had it downloaded on my computer. Computer? I've had it downloaded on my Xbox for um probably a year. Maybe more. Okay. Lane is saying, oh no, not this idea. Because Risco sent me an idea to beat Cuphead. But it's... Can I read this out to you? Let's read this out to you. All right. Listen to the entire 10-hour video of Do the Mario. While simultaneously playing through the entirety of Cuphead, both normal and expert mode, and I have to get an A- or higher of a score. I must complete it entirely before the video ends, in those 10 hours. I have to play using the weapons that cause lowest damage, and I can't die more than 100 times throughout the entire game. If I die, I have to pause and make a doodle of two fictional characters kissing that the audience requests. If I start bopping my head or singing along to the Do, do the Mario, I have to skip ahead 30 seconds in the song, shortening my timer. If I give up or fail, I have to make a second live stream where I read out every single script of the whole Super Mario Bros. Super Show, mimicking the characters' voices, singing the intro and outro, everything. That is what Risco sent to me as a stream idea. Now, 
I, I just mentioned in call, like, maybe I should make a YouTube series on me playing Cuphead. And now Risco keeps telling me, you should just keep doing this. I don't, I think I would pass away before I beat the first world. I think I'd die IRL before I beat the first world. I think it'd take me 80 years, the average lifespan of a human, to beat the first world. And you have a 10 hour time limit, so I don't even know how that's possible. It's just, it just would happen. Your whole thing is rats and such. You're going after the KFC man. Yes. What's your point? <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't ever say that. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Rat. Rats when they see the KFC deep fryer. Yeah. It's like ratatouille. But it's KFC and the food is shit. I don't know if KFC food is good. I don't eat chicken. I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian boy. I haven't checked Twitter all day. Should I check it on stream? Is there anything important that happened today on Twitter? I checked it during school because I had nothing to do. School today was the most boring shit. I just got shit on by my friends and by people who weren't my friends, like the guy who made fun of my outfit. It was a whole day. I'm so glad I'm not at school today, like, anymore. Um. Oh, yeah, Among Us posted this. Hang on. Can I just... Among Us posted this. Hang on. The lighting's not great. It's not like I want to kill you or anything, Baka. <laughs> and then Birdie posted that in my Discord server. And server announcements, very important. So, <laughs> anything else important happen today? I feel like I should do more streams where I just stream for a longer portion of time, like normal streamers do, so that I can just catch up on stuff happening on Twitter as it happens on stream. I feel like that's funny. <laughs> it's always funny when, like, Pokimane and Ray or whatever, like, are on stream and they found out that Toast got banned. It's like, great. They're like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully someone will be live when I get bent. <laughs> or I'll just go silently into the void. Should we start playing? There's music in this game, so I'm going to turn off stream beats. Um, and we're going to... It's going to be black screen for a while, and I'm just doing that so you guys can see the opening game because the opening little bit is beautiful i opened it earlier just to get a get a feel for it it's very loud <laughs> it's very loud i'm so sorry i hope it's uh, it's so loud i had to turn it off for you guys it's still blasting my ears and it's also it i'm also realizing it hasn't shown up for stream so great it's so loud. Okay. I'm gonna need it to stop. Th this game is not great. <laughs> it's, it's really not good. From the little bit I've seen of it, it's, it's genuinely not a good game. There we go. Now you guys can see it and I can turn it back on. God, that... Okay, for some reason... The opening cutscene is incredibly loud, and you can't skip it, and I can't turn it down. I turned down- I literally opened the game before stream started, turned down the volume and settings, didn't fix the opening cutscene. That's- <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> I mean, they're not like a game company, so I get it, but like, still, Jesus fucking Christ. It's, uh, it's great. Anyway, let's, let's play, guys. I don't know if I have a game that I started, but let's just do new game. I, I don't remember ever playing this game before. What do I name myself? <laughs> Guys, I'm Ludwig in this stream. Maybe he'll finally find love in this stream. Put scrub, I should have put scrub. <laughs> you sleep softly as the morning sun ca Wait, hang on. What should the narrator voice be? You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. The world is peaceful and serene. You could stay in the moment forever. Or you could wake up. Now, now, now! Your first year of coloring school! Coloring school? Coloring your school is no time to sleep in. Smash the clock. <laughs> Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking. What is wrong with me? Of Cooking School Academy for Learning. I feel like my voice is just suck. 
your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time to begins to fly, and you, well, you, and you, f <laughs> and you find your imagination getting away from you. Sorry, like I said, if you weren't here at the beginning of the stream, I did not get much sleep and I did not eat much today, so everything- my processes are a little bit slow. Me trying to read is- do I- I should get tested for like dyslexia or something. I'm really bad at reading out loud. I don't know if that's a dyslexic thing. I don't know. I'm not gonna pretend that I know, but god, I, I just hate reading out loud. I don't know why I picked a story game. What the fuck's wrong with me? A visual novel. Novel? Novel. Anyway, <laughs> you need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit. Think about, oh, by the way, I didn't even uh, read the other option. I just saw smash the clock and I was like, I'm going to smash the clock for the other one because um, I heard the beeping and I was like, I'm going to kill someone if this continues. What is this? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God they know how to have a, uh, a setting screen. You'll need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit. Think about the future. I'm gonna daydream. It's here finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind, it's, your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're late, you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. So yeah, you didn't brush your teeth or shower or piss or um, really do anything. You just rolled out of bed, grabbed a biscuit and ran. Mm, that's a that's an interesting gobbling up noise. Mmm, delicious. Just what you need to wake up those taste buds. Yikes, you're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. I, I did I did say. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever, Miriam. She is the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Good morning, Lud- Oh, I, I already forgot what I did. Good morning, Ludwig. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm- Because I sure am. Excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. Doki Doki School? I- Well, if there's, um, a lot of murder in this- in this game, then yeah. Fingers crossed. What's the... It's just that this morning, I made breakfast for myself, but, well, when I ate it, I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? Me with everything I do? Classic Miriam. Raised by master chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Ever since we were... What's Ludwig's voice? Can I make him Brooklyn? I, ever since we were little babies. That's not Brooklyn. What's Brook... Can I make him spec? Spectrum temper? What's spec's voice? <laughs> What's a British voice? How do you do Brits again? Well, you flirt with them, first of all. Um... <laughs> what's a- what's a British thing to say? That's bloody rubbish! Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great! You- you're- you're going- you're- <laughs> How do you do it? You're, you're going to- you're gonna- <laughs> They don't say gonna. Do they? What- what- what place in Britain- in British am I even, uh... What accent am I using? I don't actually know. You, you're gonna do great, bruv. <laughs> if I- if I had a bruv in there, it's fine. Sorry, my- my mic is- I'm sure you can hear me fiddling with my mic and also see it, but it's just pissing me off. But with University of Cooking School, Academy for Learnings, famous three-day only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. I have Adele in my stream? Holy shit, I'm such a huge fan. I'm British, we say gonna all the time. Thank you for your input. Um, I didn't know Adele was British. <laughs> is, is Adele British? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm not actually that big of a fan. <laughs> A sweet girl, Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. You know someone told me that you practice kissing by putting your finger and your thumb together? I didn't know that. That's not like a thing that I know. Cause I- cause I'm not- cause I'm not a fucking loser. <laughs> so when I learned that, I was like, interesting. Then I tried it and I was like, this doesn't work with a ring on. Anyway. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Pep talk, you girl. 
Remember last month when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? T tarot cards read? The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky. Spooky. Sp <laughs> spooky. <laughs> nah, it's not funny. I got school. <laughs> <laughs> I know she looks spooky, but she was sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. <laughs> remember, remember that card from the with the fancy-looking tower, and that other card featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit. Is the, is the handsome fellow KFC, Mister Mister Kentucky Fried himself? I've been waiting s for so long to meet a handsome fellow I could call my own. Well, don't be possessive, I mean, come on. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. At all. As you talk Miriam up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Can you believe I cut them myself? Yes. <laughs> you can definitely believe it. Thank you. I'm glad the game knew. I, uh, I cannot believe it. Adele, how much do you hate my accent right now? My Ludwig accent. How much do you hate it? Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground. Listen, if I saw someone with custom engraved measuring spoons, I'd do the same thing, actually. Hey! It's Ashley. Why is her name spelled like that? It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but be filled with jealousy. Nothing like him? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's nothing like Lowig. She can get anything she wants, and she knows it. Yo, enemies to lovers arc? <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Oh, oh, wait, sorry, it shouldn't be this excitable. Hello, Ashley. Uh, oh, I didn't see there. Chicken shit, chicken shins. I really assumed it'd be chicken shits. When is my no cursing stream? Did we, did that, was that redeemed for the stream? It wasn't. Did Jazz ever say she was going to redeem it, or is she just keeping me in peril? You leave Ludwig's shins alone. They are perfectly normal shins. Thanks, Miriam. Ugh, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact that it's actually Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. Yeah, and I remove letters. Well, actually, my name's Ari, but I added extra- This game's making fun of me, man. <laughs> Well, to be fair, I took away letters from my actual name, so it's okay, basically. This music is getting a little loud. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. We're not going to let you or your, weird, or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man, has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Um, Van Van. You, Rang Rang? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey there, Van Van. <laughs> Yo, what's up, HSW? You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you, as Mir you, as you, you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. Those people are hot, yeah. Unrealistic body standards. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you think they just hand us our... <laughs> Fuck, you'd think they just hand us our diplomas now. I Like, trying to switch between all the different accents and, and, and shit is so difficult. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. Yo, what's up, Iris? You're doing great, sweetie. Thank you. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off. So you, re 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 so you resist the urge. Lots of dehydration gonna get you that body? Yeah, no, for real. You can see the th fucking uh, veins. <laughs> you can see the bones. Let's... Let's... <laughs> How do I do a British accent for three words? Let's go, Miriam. Iriam. <laughs> That's up. You don't just remove the first consonant. <laughs> Let's go, Miriam. <laughs> Push. See you later, lo losers. <laughs> <laughs> That's- that's Miriam now. 
As you approach the door, you see a goofy little ki look looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. Against the window? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I, re I really disliked that one. I'm sure more than you guys did. Jesus Christ. Uh, oopsie. <laughs> I think it's broken. <laughs> You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Isn't this a college? Why is there a literal child here? Uh, uh, I should do the tri trick. <laughs> what, what was it? I always lose the British accent. Don't I do Scottish better? I, well, I, w I would always do a specific thing that would get me into Scottish. Oi, what's it to you, bruv? No, that's not. That's still British. Um, fuck, anyway. Uh, Ad should do the trick, bruv. <laughs> I just add bruv in it and it makes it all better. I love you! I think you mean thank you, bruv. <laughs> my name is Pop! I was named I was named after my Pop Pop! He's old! <laughs> my voice is cracking. Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Is it? So it's Bob in lowercase. And also... You can't flip Bob. That would be QOQ. If you flipped it upside down. If you see Kroiki, it's suddenly super easy to do an accent. Kroiki! <laughs> Kroiki, I'm Pop. I'm L Hi, Pop. I'm Ludwig's. <laughs> Why? No, I should keep him British. <laughs> I think British works better for Ludwig. I named him Ludwig. I don't know why. Oi, I pop, I'm Ludwig, so... Bruv. Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kinda cute? I think it's just you. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. I'm also bad at British accents, I can't help you there. It really should have been scrub. Look, Ludwig... Some scrub gamer on the internet. What's the difference? Am I right? Um, other than one of them's a total fucking loser, and the other one's a teenager in New Jersey. <laughs> Ludwig's really funny. I've been I've been uh, looking at some more of his clips. I get a bunch of his clips on YouTube Shorts and like clips from the yard and stuff, and they're really funny. Um, I get why he blew up. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure where to sit. Other students wander in and keep themselves busy chit chatting. Yes, what? Yes. A scruffy looking pooch takes his place at a podium at the front of class. Adorable. Well, now, now, quiet down, everyone. <laughs> He's gonna be a professor. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in a culinary class? Cl I added too much emphasis on the class. He, he really turned, like, rich there for a second. You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of UCSLA. Wait, UCSAL. I was close. Please, call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. <laughs> this game is so funny. What? A cute dog is our- Dob? <laughs> a cute dog is our professor? This is the best school ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine dining. Look at them eyes, so cute. They're blinking. Little blinking eyes. Look at them blinking eyes. Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swirl of cherry blossom petals fill the air inside the classroom. I'm chilly. Someone closed the window. And then... He walks in. <laughs> oh no. Daddy Colonel. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Who knew anyone could be this handsome? Time stands still. I definitely fucked that line up, but it's fine. Cause look at him. Why is he so skinny? He looks unhealthy. This poor man. It's him. It's... If it isn't my favorite student, Harland... Colonel Sanders in strength. Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. 
call me daddy. <laughs> Things I should not say on stream ever. Colonel Sanders. A hush mur <laughs> Daddy, sorry. A hush murmur rolls to the classroom as Colonel St <laughs> the clips today. Yeah, I know. I'm giving it to you. It's it's all yours. I'm giving you so much voice acting content here. A hush murmur rolls across rolls to the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desks. Suddenly, the room is sm sweltering. <laughs> I have to hang on. I just have to check real real quick. What's the what's the age rating on this game? <laughs> what's the age rating? On the KFC dating simulator. Um, <laughs> just gotta just gotta check. <laughs> Does anyone know? Am I good? <laughs> like, am I gonna get banned? Is there any? I'm just gonna be quick on the. I'm gonna be qu quick on the draw. Hang on. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna set up this this um my scenes real quick. So if I just switch to full cam real quick, I can. <laughs> good. Cool. We're ready. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. You feel like everyone is looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. And this over here must be sweaty sweats a lot. Maybe we should open that window back up there before faucet pits melts into a puddle and evaporates entirely. You're hilarious, Van Van. How will you go, like, do some bicep curls, bitch? <laughs> Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class. And what is with all your really weird insults? Besides, when Ludwig sweats, it's not gross. It's beautiful. Look at that shimmer. Can someone just take that audio out of context and tweet it at Ludwig? <laughs> just, it's just some kid on the internet going, Ludwig, I love when you sweat, God. <laughs> That's... <laughs> You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Your digital footprint is just me talking about Ludwig sweat. God damn. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is, stands before you, smiling gently, his hand outstretched. Boy, howdy. This classroom gets hottie than a Kentucky fr- Ho Hottie? Did I say hottie? Boy, boy, howdy. This classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm turning into that uh, number 15 Burger King foot lettuce guy. <laughs> Please, use my handkerchief. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> you freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. About how sweaty you look? You're completely mortified. <laughs> say less. God, I wish I could. I wish I could say so much less. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How will you respond? Take the handkerchief. Refuse the handkerchief. Yep. The, the handkerchief. The handkerchief. I'm being yelled at to take. I feel like I'm gonna have to take a break to get some water in a bit. I'm already out and this takes so much talking. Take it? Okay, okay, I'm taking it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shaking you. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. This is gonna be such a good VOD for YouTube. I hope everyone enjoys this. Just send it to all your friends when it goes up on YouTube. I'll make sure to post this like ASAP. I have two VODs that I haven't posted yet because I'm a fucking lazy piece of shit. I'll post them all at once. Um, so that you guys can just look at this as soon as possible. Um, because I can't post it for 24 hours after I stream it because of Twitch guidelines. Anyway, it's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has this natural scent on it. It smells of the most delicious chicken you've ever smelled. <laughs> Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. R yep. Set some ground rules. I don't think they know how college works. Why would the dog have a favorite student in their first year? Welcome. What is it? What was the, what was the accent? Welcome to University of Cooking. Nope, I'm going British. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. The greatest culinary academy in the world. I'm really just going into my weird, awkward um, voice that I do for the weird, awkward characters. 
the birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many, cha many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Broom. <laughs> yeah. Why was it? Why is it not named like the pot cooking arena? I, mm, maybe that would just sound like wheat. Never mind. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Uh, hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good start. I really miss. Quiet. Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue? You're on the fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in the school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Oh, so they've been here for a couple years. Why are they so nervous? Does no one reckon remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Damn, bro. Puppy got paws. Puppy got some paws. Little guy got bark. And I'm not talking about a treat. Let this be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Unacceptable. What's that a reference to? Unacceptable. I'm... I don't have it. I don't remember. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is referring, referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. I keep thinking they're going to say words and then they don't. I was like, Adventure Time? Is it Adventure Time? I, I didn't even watch Adventure Time. I didn't watch the full thing. So I, I, I watched bits of it, like a couple episodes and stuff. So I don't know, maybe I saw it and just... Anyway, I thought this was going to say the student Sprinkles is re referring to. And then they say referencing. It, it keeps screwing me up. It's fucking with me. This is racism. Why would you call out a student just for being a robot? Come on. Bzzz. The class bursts into... Well, that's just fucked up. <laughs> Look at this stupid robot. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles, oh, sorry. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as, as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. Sniff me, Sprinkle. Sorry, it's a dog. It's weird. Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you defi- you- you de- fucking hell. You definitely need a vinyl- you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Dude, they're attacking me directly. I started the stream with talking about how I didn't eat much today and didn't sleep, and like my whole brain is frazzled for the stream. He's calling me out. Multivitamin, Rook. <laughs> what do you mean the fuck is that? It's a vitamin, but multi. It's like it's like you know the you know the Infinity Gauntlet gauntlet, and you get all the Infinity Stones in the hit movie Marvel and Infinity War Endgame. Um, yeah, so you do that, but it's all the vitamins, and you stuff them into one and dose them. Um, <laughs> probably. I don't know. I don't take vitamins other than vitamin D. That's not even a joke. That's not even like a dick joke. <laughs> it's just the only vitamin that I take. Did I take it today? I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Guys, can you figure out if this streamer has ADHD? <laughs> You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkles' reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? <laughs> the most neurotypical lad I've ever seen. Guys, what's the best play here? I feel like beef treat is obvious. I feel like chicken snack makes sense. This is a game from a company trying to sell chicken, right? They wouldn't shit on chicken. And Strook said beef treat, so it makes me more inclined to not click beef beef treat. So we're gonna go with chicken, baby. <laughs> I don't think there was a wrong answer there. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' his eyes go wide as he locks onto it. His favorite, called it. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for new star student. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. I want a pet so bad. If I get a cat and I continue streaming, because I want to stream in college, and if I get a cat, I, you're never. You're, every stream is going to be about her or him. You're, you're never going to escape the bitch. I love animals so much. 
You see the other kids, the other students eyeing you jealously. Jell- wow. Jealous. Jealous. Jell- hmm? Jealously? Jealously. Jealously. I got it. Pet cam. You're right. Pet cam would be fun. You see, <laughs> you see the other kids eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the imp importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Jello less. Yeah, they're all f less of Jello. They have no goo in them. No, no goo in all my fellow classmates. Oh no. Oh no, our classmates. They're broken. Guys, am I, am I, am I hitting hitting trendy with the kids? <laughs> oh no, you guys saw my sweatpants for a second. You. you oh no. You're gonna realize that I am wearing. <laughs> I'm like I'm like business on top, lazy on bottom. You know what I mean? Like I'm ready to fall asleep. My legs are ready to fall asleep. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, that was just a, a tangent that was unnecessary. Settle down, young. Ch nope, not British. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. You know the 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 Googles said that this game would take two hours. If we finish this within three, I'd be so surprised. With how I play video games and just do stuff in general, I I don't I don't know. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey Ludwig, there's still a seat here. Um, what was his name? What was his voice? It seems there's. N <laughs> it seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me. If you're interested. <laughs> Two good options, but which will you choose? But like, I kind of want the lovers to enemies arc. You know? No, wait. Hang on. Sorry. Other way around. <laughs> That's called a divorce. I meant the enemies to lovers arc. I want to get with Ashley. She might be annoying as shit. Can you date Ashley? Suno, what's up? Hi, what's poppin'? What's good? What's poppin'? What's what's up? <laughs> Sorry, I should, went in a loop there. <laughs> my brain feedback looped. Um, I'm gonna sit with my best friend because I'm not a total asshole. Or maybe I am. <laughs> No, I'm gonna my best friend. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad you have to have you near me to support me through this class. Oh yeah, she was also like scared, you know, um, of this class. So it's nice for me to be next to her. Imagine playing a dating sim to get a divorce. <laughs> that would be so funny. Anti dating sim. You have like multiple vi wives, and you try to figure out which one to divorce to get like an like a a check or something. I don't know. That'd be a funny concept. Imagine you ditch your best friend for the pretty boy. Of course you're my best friend. Of course, you're my best friend. Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders? He has such a magnetic personality and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better. I'd never... I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him late in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime. Th Wait, this, this game's three days long? So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so damn dreamy. Darn dreamy. Sorry, they censored themselves. I don't know what Little Witch Academia is. I'm sorry. As soon as you settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. If you guys are enjoying this, by the way, I'm, I have Danganronpa on, or Danganronpa, I don't know how to pronounce it, on Xbox Game Pass. Would that be something you'd be interested in watching me play? Because it seems like a really funny... An interesting game, and I've heard a lot about it. I have one of them. I don't have- I have Trigger Happy Havoc. I don't know- there's like three. Um... Yes? Okay. I will- I will try to do that soon. Think fast, it's time for a pop qu- wait, no. What was his voice? Think fast, it's time for a pop quiz. Yay! A quiz about me! That's funny, I like that, that's cute. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell you, will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Danganronpa and Yesh. Yeah, well, I think like, cause um, you know, a lot of like Asian um, words tend to not pronounce vowels as much. Like my name is Aryan, not Aryan, or you know, they don't, or Aryan or whatever. Like a lot of people over pronounce the vowels. 
Um, so that's why I was like, it might be Dungan Ranpa and not Dangan Ryan or whatever, you know. Hi, Jazz. Did you redeem no cursing last time? Because I don't remember you doing it, and I've just been cursing the stream, so. <laughs> nope. Okay, cool. There's still no graphic for you, con uh, for you, um, claiming it. I might make one soon, but there's not one right now. So if you claim it, it's just going to tell me that you claimed it. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. Number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Meh. Depends. Extremely. Looking at you, Pop. Doesn't matter at all. Now, should I be trying? Is it better to just be like a cute, adorable idiot? No, I want to. I want to fuck the. I want to fuck the. Um, the enemy. Enemies to lovers, baby. So we're gonna be smart. Otherwise, she's just gonna shit on us. No, we're gonna be. We're gonna be medium, because then we're both not wrong and not right. And then she can't shit on us, right? Meh. Depends. That's wrong. Well, I did say that we, we can't be wrong. I guess I'm wrong Forest is to tree wait what I always fuck up his voice Forest is to tree as chicken is to Feather a slam dunk and night fishing goggle. All right feather. That's right What is what what is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? <laughs> a meat tenderizer a comically oversized fork or spork I mean, I mean, I personally, I think it's a spork. <laughs> this looks weird. It, Ger Hulk, it's so funny. I feel like they want me to go with meat tenderizer because of the whole chicken. Th oh, that's wrong. Oops, <laughs> I guess it's a spork. What food, what food is best for a broken heart? Anything, as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat, a pancake that looks like a silly face. Pancake. That's wrong. You suck. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He is the best boy. <laughs> That's right. Your total score is 2 out of 5. Fuck. Eat my ass. Oof. 2 out of 5? I could do better guessing. When you turn it... When you... Oh, sorry. When you turn... Wait, fuck. Was he talking to me or was I narrating? My bad. <laughs> my brain. When you turn to Colonel Sanders, he is looking at your results with visible disdain. Not good. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Oh, shit. Wow. Well, damn, I, I want lunch. <laughs> I should have eaten dinner. <laughs> should I eat dinner? What should I have for dinner, guys? Um... Did I just text on stream? Yeah, I've I, but I've never texted on stream. Sorry, a friend was asking if I was going to homecoming next week. We have homecoming next week. That's normally at the beginning of the year, and it's February. Yeah, our school's cracked, but um, I'll let you know. I'll let you guys know how it goes. It's next Friday, I think, or some shit like that. Pretty hyped. Uh, anyway, <laughs> man, I get distracted so easily. No wonder I don't finish games. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense the school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone can I have your attention. Is it about lunch? No, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. You see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. They're popping off guns in the school, I guess. But I... Shh. Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said sh... sh, sh. How do you do shush in a British accent? She said shh, but bruv. <laughs> in honor of the new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. No, it was me. Baby girl. <laughs> Indeed. That smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this? Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. 
piled higher huge pieces of chicken breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops, envelops you, and you become, to, be, become you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, stop thinking and start eating. My god, this game. I know. I agree. For years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. I have to add so much breathiness to his voice, it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to per achieve the perfect balance of flavors. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> this game, this game's gonna make me pass out on stream. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. What, you think we want your stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw, nah, my dude, nah. I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of those ingredients is, uh, poison. Got him! This guy's just me, IRL, I think. He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing in a sick burn. You wait to see what Zinger Ashley is prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, and I was just, like, writing in my diary. Dear Diary, today I smell something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken <laughs> so tender. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going insane, man. I lost I lost my headphones and I made the, the camera go blurry. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that she realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants them all to herself. But but I want Ashley all to myself. But no! I didn't realize we'd all be fighting for his affection. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I won't get the, the enemies to lovers to enemies arc. Because, I mean, let's be honest. It'll end in a divorce. Oh, please. Well, Van Van. The man man. The man man. Sorry, I forgot how small the, the frame is. If you don't want any... I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket. Bucket. <laughs> and sink your teeth into it. Why is he so pretty? I don't know. I don't know why I am. It's just, I was born like this, I guess. And, you know, it takes a little bit of effort. You know, I, I try, but I appreciate it, Suna. <laughs> it's amazing. Tasting Col Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment, trying to identify every flavor. Save the moment everything that tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. Um, trying to identify every flavor is fucked. I don't want to steal his whole brand, you know what I mean? Because his whole thing is just chicken. Um, <laughs> I just like, I like swim towards the light. Um, Girl Hulk, it's just a meme game. KFC made a game to promote KFC and it's just hilarious and it seemed like the perfect thing to do on Valentine's Day. We're gonna swim towards the light. Oh no, my Unis figure. Did I ever tell you guys about the Funko Pop that I uh, spontaneously bought? Got this little guy. We were My friend and I were at the mall and we walked into this... Um, I might have told the story already. I have no idea. We walked into the store with a bunch of comic book shit. And we just walked around. And we were like, we're going to spend way too much money in here. In here, Like, we're two fucking nerds. Big nerds. So we were like, we're going to spend way too much money in here. So we were just like, okay. What if we buy one pop each? And then we leave. And then we, we, we're not allowed to come back here for the rest of for like the rest of the day. So then we each got one. And I got um, this little bitch. And, um, I don't remember what he got. Anyway, <laughs> that little, little cute little story for you guys. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beckons you. 
The flavors are so intense you become wrapped up in them, unable to resist. You reach toward the light, it grabs your hand and pulls you closer, closer, until your fingertip connects with the end of everything. You are forever lost in the land of tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There is no Ludwig now. I, f I keep forgetting that I named him Lug Ludwig. There's only herbs and spices. Though Miriam tries to revive you, she can't. Ayo, mouth to mouth? Resuscitation? C-P-E-R? Ayo? Ayo? Wait, game over. <laughs> Try again or give up. I mean... Let's try again. You died. <laughs> Let's try again. I can't believe I died. What the fuck? I didn't realize going towards the light would mean literal death. Okay, so uh, we're going to skip through all this. Everyone cheers, but I blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, there's so much. You died in the freaking KFC dating game. Man, I guess I'm just bad at video games. Did I tell you guys that I beat Hades? I tweeted it. I don't know if you saw. I mean, I, I assume everyone didn't see, obviously. But, um, yeah. I beat Hades. I was so proud of myself. Well, I beat it for the first time. You have to beat it multiple times to actually beat the game. But, like, whatever. It's fine. Um, HSW came back to a, a beautiful game. <laughs> I died in the KFC dating game. Um... Let's just save for the moment. Um, <laughs> the flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What well, a guy, alone with the <laughs> alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as we approach. He, he stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel, I was wonder I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my that will make me my fortune, establish my legacy for all time as I open a cha chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester is only getting started. We've got two more whole days to get to know each other. <laughs> He's clear not, clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be, shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie, I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but, but you can't tell. I use Beep Up! It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Beep Up! Wow, you'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you, you'd get some if you searched. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. <coughs> Damn, my throat is dying. I talk a lot on streams normally, but this is just like a lot more than normal. I've been talking for an hour straight. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad, flexing his quads. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will come... We'll continue on after I've graduated. Thank you for the hydrate, Neeks. If you guys have water at home, make, to, make sure to drink some. I'm officially out of water. We're gonna go a bit, and then I'm gonna take a little break. We're gonna go until we reach an hour, so six more minutes. And then I'm gonna take a little break to go get some more water. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, did I read this already? Sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. It sounds like you've got big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave a mark on this world, you can bet on that! Sorry, I don't know why I screamed in your ears. <laughs> Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Fuck him. Where's the fuck him option? Where's the sex option? 
Neg him to show your own strength. Wow him with a big idea to add an extra ingredient to really spice things up. Be modest, but thoughtful. Uh, well, what do we want to play? We already have shown that we're dumb as shit because we got a 2 out of 5. Let's just be modest. Well, well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex but comforting. 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 <laughs> the interplay between salty and savory and peppery, it was perfect. Aria, novel game, you don't go straight to the F option, especially on stream. <laughs> listen, listen, okay? I, I need to do, <laughs> I have to do what had to be done. I had to ask at least. I appreciate the compliment, Ludwig. Why is Colonel Sanders talking directly to what? Can I just check real quick? Has Ludwig ever actually played this fucking game? Let's check. Ludwig, Lud, Ludwig, KFC dating game. I spelled, I spelled it Ludwig videos. I don't see it. I don't see it immediately, which means it doesn't exist. I'm also too lazy to keep Googling, but listen. Hey, Ludwig, this one's for you, bud. If you didn't play it, I'm playing it for you. And for some reason, you're British now, but, you know, we don't need to talk about that. I'm sh Wait, fuck. I'm sure you'll be a huge success. Uh, I'm sure you'll be a big success, bruv. <laughs> I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. <laughs> hey, he knows! <laughs> He knows how big Ludwig is. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. You step into a massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Look at this place. It's fantastic. It's magnificent. How did I read fantastic from that? Finally, we get to show our stuff. <laughs> Food wars? Two wars? That's an always sunny reference. You're welcome. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh no, we've got a short stuff. What if I totally blow it? You're not gonna blow anything, bruv. Love. Love is better for this reference, for this for this moment. A sec maybe kisses to the crowds of fans you're gonna earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you. But unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. <laughs> if Gordon isn't in here, I'll lose it. Bro, imagine. Imagine they talk to Gordon Ramsay about being in their KFC dating game video game bullshit. Hey, look, hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is. Me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want to be with my partner? Aww. Sure, Ludwig. I'll prepare a station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Hello, new partner! Beep up! Bzz. Oh my, two potential partners? I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. I know, she looks so sad. I didn't even have the option to play with her this time. Imagine if I just... Spent the entire game avoiding Colonel Sanders and specifically going after Miriam. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? <laughs> Ratchet or Clank? <laughs> um. Well, I like doing the pop voice. So let's go with pop and pop is adorable. <laughs> Sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering with pop today. We're... I'm sorry. I have to make someone sad. Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same, 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 same station as Miriam. Wow, got it first try. I'm a chef. I know Clank looks so sad. He holds up a banana and without peeling it, probably eats the entire thing. <laughs> this man is a menace, bro. I mean, he got his potassium for the day at least. It's disconcerting, but Miriam is too kind to act grossed out. I mean, it's not really gross. It's just you're an insane person. But, you know, maybe Pop was a bad idea. No, disagree. Think he was the best idea I could have possibly made. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm, Pop. 
She looks at you like, really, this kid? But it's too late to change your choice now. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. How is it still 57 minutes? I thought it was 57 minutes three minutes ago. <laughs> it's fine. All right, you two. Well, I keep going British for this man. Why do I want to make the professor British so bad? All right, you two. For today's lesson, you're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is in. No chef is in island. Is not what? No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. It's an hour and four minutes. Oh, my thing is behind. Because he's a refined gentleman. Alright guys, go take a, a quick break as in I'm not even going to switch away from the screen. I'm just going to get up and leave and then I'll be right back. You know what? I'll transition so you guys can um, talk. You can you can see each other. That was a little bit of lag. Okay. Um, you guys can talk to each other through stream even though you can see yourselves in chat. Cool. Okay. Be right back. Hello. Okay, bye, Iris. <clears throat> what have we missed? Oh, damn, y'all talked a lot. Everyone was like, hi, and he's gone. The mini dub does not have a cooldown. If you really want to waste your points on it, go ahead. I mean, I got, I took my vitamin D in case anyone was worried. I'm uh, great like that. Um,. I think, I also think you should subscribe to Ari on YouTube. <laughs> it's totally free and you can always unsubscribe. You can spend 10 mini bit. I mean, if you want to, I'll just go for it right now. But, um, <laughs> it's a waste of your own points, you know? I think you guys should subscribe to me on YouTube because I don't know if I mentioned it on the stream. I totally forgot, but I, oh no, I totally did because I, I told you guys about Riska's dumb cuphead idea. Um, but yeah, I want to make some content soon on YouTube. I'm probably going to post soon. Um, and I think you guys will enjoy it because it's cuphead. It's a fucking rage game. I'll fucking cry <laughs> trying to make it. Um, this guy have an intermission just for a sec to take a break from the fucking batshit game that we've been playing. Um, man, I, I, I feel good about myself today. Wearing this hoodie, this hoodie's so nice. <clears throat> Some kids make fun of me, made fun of me at school and stuff. And like, this is a problem that I run into a lot, even online, where it's like, I make fun of, whenever me and my friends are alone, or like as a group, we're together, 
I make fun of them, they make fun of me. That's just kind of the banter I tend to have with a lot of my friends. Because I just get along with people who we can kind of make fun of each other a little bit. And if it goes too far, obviously you talk to people and you're like, hey, this wasn't okay. The problem is, at school, sometimes people make fun of me in front of other people. <clears throat> and that means that other people think it's okay to make fun of me. Which isn't. It isn't. And it isn't online either. Like, I've had to- I've- I've, like, backed away from communities before because I've just- I- I got pissed off because I was just like, I don't want to be made fun of every time I show up somewhere. Um... So... Like, today, I was so pissed because I was, like, chilling. I got made fun from my outfit and it was from someone who doesn't really know me, who didn't even really know my name that well. And, like, he wasn't even sure if my name was Aryan, which is my real name. Um... Or even though everyone calls me Ari, so wasn't even close enough to know that my name was Ari, which is what it is on my private school Instagram. Um, and yeah, I was just like, it gets so out of hand. This is kind of a notice to people as well. How about how about I just make something that is easily clippable for you guys? So if this ever becomes a problem in my Discord server or whatever, that you can just um, send this to them and be like, hey, listen, I get it. You know, making fun of people is funny sometimes. If you're not my friend, don't do it. We're just gonna leave it like that. Um, if 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 you're not, if I'm not consistently DMing you or friendly with you or friends with you in Discord or just constantly talking to you, maybe it's not okay to always make fun of me. Once in a while, it's funny, sure, but when it always is that, it's really not funny. <laughs> it's really not. So just clip that and send that to whoever whenever they uh, decide to be <laughs> fucking annoying. <laughs> Cause um. I'm gonna start calling people out because <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> it's just really frustrating. Um, but yeah, that was my intermission. Cause um, this game is killing my brain cells. I can clip that for you if you want. Uh, yeah, sure. I would. I would appreciate it. I go through my clips after streams normally just to be like, oh, that's cool. I'll save that for later or whatever. Or post on Twitter. Sometimes I post clips on Twitter. Guys, if you find if you I I, I never really you know advertise the clipping thing. But clips help me a bunch because like if you want to see something show up on YouTube shorts Then like you should clip it And if you want like if you think something's exceptionally funny and because like, you know, I like streaming and If I want to keep doing it, I gotta show that I can like grow a little bit because if I'm not growing and if I'm stagnant Then it's a little hard to keep streaming, right? so if you guys find stuff that's interesting, just clip it because that helps a fuck ton because it allows me to post stuff on other social media that people can find and people can find the clip on Twitch and potentially like enjoy my content through my humor from that clip. Um, so yeah, if you find something really funny, if you don't want to stop the stream right then, Cause like I don't I don't even like to clip in the middle of streams because you know I, I don't want to like stop watching the stream. Then just like write down the timestamp and go back later, cause it's so or just write down the timestamp and send it to me and be like, hey, this was really funny. If you want to clip it for later, and I'll clip it myself. I'm down to do that too. Um. So yeah, that's a little notice, a little a little PSA for you guys if you're interested in helping me out. Uh, if you find funny stuff, you know. No stress, but if you're watching and you see something funny, that's just kind of the vibe. Anyway, let's keep playing. <laughs> let's keep going. We've had a long enough intermission. Okay. No chef is an- oh wait, I already did this. Which dish did you suggest to your partner? Do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Steak tartare seems easy enough, it's fancy, and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow Colonel Sanders' mind. Your grandmother's mashed potatoes and gravy. Well, here's the thing. As a vegetarian, <laughs> I don't know what the best option is. All I know is that the last one ain't it. <laughs> but like grandmothers are like famous for having really good food, you know? They're notorious for it. Second one sounds good. Let's go with the second one. I was thinking about trying something exotic. Maybe a dish that incorporates octopus in some way. 
I'm more of a down home type of chef myself. What about something that go with me here? Walks on land? Actually, there are certain species of octopus that do leave the water. For instance, have you heard of the Abdipus aculeatus? <laughs> it leaves the water to hunt for crab. Um. <laughs> sure. Ow, I bit my tongue. Sure. Fucking, fucking asshole. Piece of shit narrator. Making me say words in a British accent that I've never heard of before. An octopus that walks upright and hunts crabs? Now I've heard of everything. The world is a truly marvelous place, isn't it? Octopus? Crab? It sounds like you're describing one of my signature dishes. Are you trying to steal my thunder? Boys, 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 what's with all the hostility? Has the competition been moved up to today? <laughs> you're doing great at this, alright? Thank you, Suna. How dare you try and muscle in <laughs> on my culinary territory? Nobody better touch a cephalopod without going through me first. <laughs> it's getting real weird with these guys, with Van Van and Ashley. <laughs> I think there's been a must in Sorry, that one started off bad. Hang on, I need water. <laughs> Van Van looks like a JoJo character. <laughs> I think there's been a misunderstanding. Nobody's muscling in on any mollusks. We were simply discussing today's assignment. You could cut the tension in here with a chef's knife, which makes sense because chef's knives are usually pretty sharp. Look, we were just talking. I'll happily step back from any and all seafood. You know what? I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes and gravy. I know my grandmother's recipe by heart. Keep the tentacles. You begin to peel and boil potatoes and try to extricate yourself from the stony situation, but your new rivals aren't having it. I doubt that you even have the capabilities to work with ingredients so delicate. You should probably stick to microwavable dishes. Unlike my friend Van Van, though he may be the man man, I have no doubts whatever so ever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worth admiration. Bars? After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. Uh, these things, these people, I, uh, things I should call them, have turned into cartoon characters. I don't know what the fuck I've gone with them. They were normal in the beginning of the stream. Uh, but Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing. Well, well, that's that's karma for me calling them things. This thing that has positioned itself at your station. That's funny. I like that. <laughs> that's. <laughs> I guess the people who made the KFC game have the same humor as me. Don't you feel uh, deep down that we cast complimentary shadows that we fit together like a thigh and a drumstick? It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes sense, but one thing is clear. She's coming for Colonel if you don't watch out. And if Ludwig and Van Van are both inclined to the sea, perhaps they should go there together. Ashley! <gasps> Are you suggesting I share the secrets of my special saltwater sauce with this novice? I'm disappointed in all of you. Ashley's really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Bro, we, we always need our girl Miriam to save us. Just like learn to talk maybe? Oh shit. BRB, I'm hungry now. Alright, Strick. Oh yeah, I ate some Skittles before I came back from the from the intermission. <laughs> so, I got something. Do we want to turn to Colonel Sanders, hunks, hunk of hunks in your time of need, or turn to Miriam, your forever busty, B busty, your bestie who always has your back? Um, you guys can vote. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up, all right? Don't call me out. <laughs> call me out for the busty. Um, I'm gonna let you guys vote because I don't mind either way. I think, uh... I think going for Sanders, um... Like, we just screwed over Miriam by making her work with Pop, you know? I feel like it's nice to be like... Hey. You want to help me out here? Then again, Miriam always saves me. So let's go with Sanders to spice things up a bit. Because this game's about cooking and we need spice. 
I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect to the format. Okay? Okay? I turned into Shrek for a second. Okay? Donkey? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I also like that the narrator, which is your voice in your head, is American, but your voice is British. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? Sometimes, conflict can actually build character. Character, sorry. I wouldn't want you to shy away from a bit of healthy competition with our peers, Ludwig. Wow, is he just not that into you? You'd think a gentleman would defend you in a situation like this. Did you do something to offend him at some point? You look for sprinkles and hope they might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station and realize that, in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture, with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders, San what? Yep. Mm -hmm. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Candle Colonel Sanders holds a mm -hmm. Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork and for that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. I wish I could love like Ludwig loves Colonel Sanders and Colonel Sanders loves Ludwig. I need to get me a man like Colonel Sandward Sandwards and or Ludwig. <laughs> I'm really bad at talking. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me, man. <laughs> Why am I still watching this? Because it's entertaining as fuck. Your eyes lock. The momentum, momentum, the, huh? The monu, the mo- The moment is electric. Time stands still. I'm not doing this on purpose. Like, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me in this, in this whole reading thing. I'm in an AP English class. I should not be having this much trouble. If you love something, set it free. That's a real weird thing to say. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporksful up when you see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. Oh no! Our relationship, it's broken! Me going through a divorce? This is the third time I've made a divorce joke. Do I have a problem? <laughs> I'm gonna ask that to myself before you guys ask me if I have a problem. And then, filled with rage and without thinking, you fling the spork full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. <laughs> Projection? Van Van, do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Fuck no. Loser. Loser bitch pussy bitch. Hold on there, Ludwig. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have potatoes, fish? Something's wrong with this kid, man. Van Van brushes back over a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Potatoes. Pathetic. I'm just a few minutes. I've prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my specialty braised tentacle of octopus in my silky saltwater sauce. <laughs> Plated on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. This is gonna turn into a Hades boss fight. You watch. Or maybe my mind is just on Hades. I want to play that game again. I didn't play it all today. You've ignored me for too long, that ends now. It is I who will have first bite, or and you will all look on with envy. The interrupting student rushes in Fan Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No, don't! 
Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned into and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic. Too late. It has been eaten. I uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? What? It killed him. Everyone step everyone step back. Don't take another bite. No. When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the ten tentacle being slurped up in Pop's mouth. Pop wimps in pain for just a moment, then it then is almost immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They're as motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things despite obvious danger has inoculated him against poisons of all kind. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you've, you're have you shaken up by that really annoying student and all this nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. What? Like, for real? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Sorry, fuck. <laughs> I'm a good voice actor. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Colonel Standard, Standard, what the fuck is wrong with me? Sorry, I keep slamming the desk. I'm sure that you guys can hear it. <laughs> My bad. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know that's not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded why I reminded we what it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders. C C Colonel Sanders. Yes, Ludwig. There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there. There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a world that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. Aha. <laughs> and every day since I've been working toward that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also lifting a lot of weights. Like, so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts, that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no, I, you, shut up, I'm the one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that you cooking literally killed a guy? <laughs> Jojo knockoff. You can't prove that. Hmm. I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. Forget him, we're talking about me, 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 I'm the hero. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna have to end the stream here. <laughs> the spork, what, what, what voice do we wanna do for the spork monster? Corky, the spork monster's here for a hero. Um. <clears throat> I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds. <laughs> we will not let harm come to another student. Except for that ghost kid. I kind of dropped the ball on that one. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Am I? Because I'm a monster, say. Is he uh, rhyming on purpose? Or is it just a coincidence? Did I go Scottish for that one? Did I go Scottish for that one? Is he rhyming on purpose? Or... Is it just a coincidence? But before you can d discuss syntax any further, God, I feel like I'm in AP English again. It's a turn-based fight sequence. What will you do? Attack. You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love. Cook with love does one damage. It just got real. 
that attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. Attack. It worked last time. Cook with love does one damage. Spork Monster won't forget this and is feeling really threatened by your attack. They focus their mashed mind and draw in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How will you respond? Attack. And we're gonna cook with love again. It does one damage. At this rate, the semester will probably be over before this fight is... Spork Monster's no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble. They go into the attack once again. I don't... This is a weird Pokemon game. I, I have no idea what the fuck is happening. Spork Monster uses Utilitensil. You take two damage for the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not gonna survive this battle. The, ba the battle. Defend. You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation. You curl into a ball. I'm not cut out for this. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for its ultimate attack, Rounded Edge. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. Pot Pie Power Pinch. Pot Pie Power Pinch does 10 damage. Spork Monster is defeated. You saved me. An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. Let's finish him. No student will ever walk the court in fear again. This monster m messed with the wrong chef. Attack. You ready your final attack? You'll never survive my... <laughs> this hits hard considering I'm going to call it soon. Student debt loan destruction. <laughs> student debt loan destruction does 10 damage. I like how Ari replaced Cornel right now in this scene. What do you mean? Spork Monster is completely vaporized. Colonel Sanders looks on in awe. You continue to surprise me, Ludwig. The defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. Look at the stream screen. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I am Sanders. I am him. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it out is Borco. Hmm. Borco. That name sounds strangely familiar. I'm taking screenshots after this now. <laughs> oh shit, if he was still here, I would have tried to pose as him. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. Depeated? Depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. Oh shit, I'm in Colonel Sanders' bedroom. Yo, yo guys, what do I do? Is this how you just get a date? You just pass out in front of them? I'll keep that in mind when I go to college. I'm pretty sure that's how one of my uncles got married. Anyway, <laughs> the image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. Oh, it's my house, huh? You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter to utter a single word. You feel the covers being pulled up over you as you, you're tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. Zzz. Oh, shit. This is- that was kind of a cool graphic, I really like that. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories? Or premonitions? Why do you want the dog there while you're trying to fall in love with Sam? Okay, it's fine. And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you, right? Not much of a secret, huh? Probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense, we'll go with that. You meet up with your bestie in front of the school. Before you can tell her about the encounter with the Spork Monster, she launches into a story of her own. Oh yeah, I know this might sound a little strange, but I think I might be, um... I think I might like Pop. <gasps> Pop is a child, come on, man. L like him? L like it? L hmm. Bruv, like him. Like him. Like, like him. Like, 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 like... <laughs> God. <laughs> I, I just kept going and I was like, there's no point in stopping now. And I think there was a point in stopping, actually. Like him? Like, like, like? I know, I know, it, it sounds like he's moving too fast, but there's something about him. I like him. Like, like him. We got to talking after class, and he's actually a totally sweet guy. 
Not only that, but he's really smart. He told me all kinds of stories about Colonel Sanders. Do you know that Colonel Sanders, Sanders enlisted in the army when he was only three? Not only that, but he founded a special unit of so super soldiers who all wear the same hats just because he put a hat on one time and thought it looked cool. Did the music get louder? Or am I just... Sure. Anyway. <laughs> but Colonel Sanders... <laughs> but Colonel Sanders doesn't even wear a hat. He wears a ribbon tie. Either way, maybe it'd be best if he took it slow with this new boy, like I am with Colonel Sanders. You and Colonel Sanders, the coolest guy in school, the most famous student to ever attend University of Cooking School Academy for Learning, you're a thing now? We definitely connected yesterday. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I guess? Wait, what? Oh, so she's not being sarcastic. <laughs> My bad, I read that wrong. <laughs> sure you did. You're great. Why wouldn't he be into you, I, I guess? Laughing at the implication... Oh, wait, so she was being sarcastic. That was a really weird dialogue. <laughs> Laughing at the implication that you and Colonel Sanders might be a thing is definitely not cool. You are great. You have an idea about how to prove that your love is real. <laughs> well, well, if he's not into me, why did he tell me one of his secret ingredients? Your bestie's eyes light up. A secret ingredient? Yeah, I, yeah, I just saw that. I j <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm losing the accent. Yeah, I just said that. A secret ingredient. Is there a dramatic echo here? Miriam checks to make sure you're alone before continuing. So this summer while I was on vacation with my family, a lovely man approached me in the botanical garden while I was wander where I was wandering. This can't be good. He told me all about his passion for spices. Secret spices. The man even gave me some to show me what he meant. He said it was a powder created from super duper rare dried flower petals and that if I did him a big favor, I could have some of my own. Hi, Gummagoop. We're playing this KFC dating game and it's hilarious. Please, Mi please, Miriam, don't tell me. So I filled my suitcase with them and brought them home. He was so nice, he even met me at the game when I arrived. So later when I cooked with them, a very strange feeling came over me. And the flavor was unlike anything I'd ever tasted. I think you're being very liberal with the meaning of spices here. Whatever, anyhow, we both shared an interest in cooking, so we stayed in touch. You know, like pen pals. I bet he would love to know about new... To I bet he would love to know more about new spices. Well, I'm definitely not supposed to share Colonel Sanders' secret recipe. And because I only know the one ingredient, so I doubt it would be much use to anyone. And besides, I only know the one ingredient. Fuck. Yeah, uh, Mason, I named the main character Ludwig and then gave him a British accent. Just so you're all caught up. Also, we fought a, a, a spork monster earlier. And um, I'm falling in love with the Colonel Sanders. Even though I wanted to have an enemies to lovers to enemies arc with um, another girl in this game. But it's fine. Please, please, please. It would mean the world to me. Not, no one has to know it came from you or from Colonel Sanders. What do you think? Should you protect Colonel Sanders' secret or share it with your bestie? Daddy Colonel is too important to me. You quickly think of a fake ingredient name. I don't know. How, how about... It was... I knew... I know sounds like... I know. Sounds like some kind of witch's potion, but what can you do? I have knew... Wow! Her eyes light up, imagining such a thing, and you figure that you've satisfied her curiosity and she'll move on. However, she immediately turns around and does some thumb typing on her phone that you can't quite see. That's probably not good. Before you can ask her to confirm that she was definitely not texting secrets to other people, you're interrupted. A wind rushes in. Cherry blossom petals fill the air. Oh, shit, they do the graphic. That's really good. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, what the fuck? <laughs> it's Colonel Sanders. He's arriving at school. Sp stand back and admire his majestic glory. Run to him. We gotta, we gotta admire the man. Is it weed? I feel like it's cocaine. I don't know what the secret ingredient is for us. I think what what um, um, our friend was um, mixing ingredients with was cocaine, maybe. I'm gonna stand back. Colonel Sanders' horse is truly a thing of beauty. Without ever acknowledging that he's being watched, he does a short horse dance before dismounting with a flourish. He then slaps the beautiful creature gently on its rear, sending it running free into the countryside. You're so struck with the sight of him that you lose the ability to speak coherently. Oh, I didn't realize anyone was watching. Don't worry, he knows his way home. You attempt to compliment Colonel Sanders, but the words don't come out exactly right. What a horseful beaut you have- I mean, what a horseful beaut you- you- I, Dang it, that's what I just said. 
Being a good friend, Miriam attempts to cover for you. Oh, Ludwig just gets really nervous from people they like. What? This is not helping. I mean, they got food poisoning and were up all night. It was gruesome. You should have seen it. She gives you a wink and a smile as if to say, situation handled. Can't blame a girl for trying. And with that, Colonel Sanders disappears into the school, leaving you and Miriam to follow. When you enter the classroom, you can see your two arch rivals. Two, well, your two rivals. They're not arch yet. Ashley and Van Vin are doing something bad. By the way, they're hiding. You know it must be... By the way they're hiding, you know it must be really bad. I have food poisoning right now, I think. Bro. You should, like... You shouldn't have ate poisoned food. You're not pop. That's a reference you won't get because you weren't her here earlier in the game. Like, counterfeiting recipes bad. Experimenting with restricting... Restricted ingredients bad. Summoning a demon bad. You try and get a peek over Van Van's hulking shoulder. This is the Achilles of this game. If you guys watched me play Halo earlier, you know what I'm talking about. But he sees you coming. <laughs> Whoa there, little one. I'm not sure you're ready to handle this. Why don't you make like a begin mind your own wax, honey? That's a really good line, actually. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like that line. Why are they so boobed? Uh, don't know. That's just this game, I guess. I wish Colonel Sa Never mind. <laughs> Tell them to stop acting immature. Fuck it, yeah. You immediately dress the rivals down for their immature behavior. Immature behavior. Culinary school is to be respected. This kind of nonsense is a waste of everyone's time. Now you've upset them. Oh, and you're the emperor of cooking, are you? You make the rules? I'm not sure you'd know a good meal if it ate you. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy doing their voices. It's getting so bad. It like gets more and more chaotic every time I do another one of their lines. Holy shit. <laughs> I love this game. I didn't know if this would be a fun game to stream. I it definitely was. Being the best chef in the world takes more than just culinary skills. It takes creativity. It takes panache. Can't believe I can say panache, but I can't say Colonel Sanders correctly first try. Sometimes. It doesn't hurt to use a little evil. You finally get a look at what it was they were hiding, and you instantly recognize it. It's a book, just like the one you found early you found after you encountered with the spork monster. That's the same book that I found last night in the quad. Ashley immediately rolls Van Van, who hides the book behind her. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> this is a narrator voice. Ashley immediately elbows Van Van, who hides the book behind his back. I don't know what you're talking about. This book is a family heirloom and its contents are secret. You notice that they haven't just been studying the book. They've got pop cut, pop, pop, mm. they've got pop pinned to the wall. And they're tossing potato skins at him as he tries to catch them in his mouth. Fun. We're playing! <laughs> Before you can dig in any further, you're interrupted by the arrival of more students. It's almost time for class. Beep, beep. I'm a sheep. Clank must be running late. He's in such a hurry that he rolls right over Van Van's meaty foot. Meaty. Hey, watch it, you bucket of bolts. You watch how you talk to him. He didn't do anything. Bzzz, whomp. Who do you think you're talking to? I've never heard such language, not even from a stand mixer. Womp womp. No, your mother was a stand mixer. Whir, bzzz. Van Van jumps to attack Clank, but Clank shocks Van Van, sending him flying across the room. This bitch Pikachu. What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> hi boobs. I mean boob I mean hi I mean I'm I mean I mean hi. <laughs> That's one comic goop. Thank you. Thank you for your content. <laughs> Protect me, Colonel Sanders. These crazy men are about to come to come to blows. I think it must be over for me, but I'm not interested in either of them. Ashley's tone is completely changed in an instant. She bats her eyelashes at Colonel Sanders. Surely you must know that this is a ruse, right? Gentlemen, Gentlemen, get a hold of yourselves. Save it for the arena, at least. Or don't. Honestly, what do I care? I've got lofty career aspirations to focus on. And maybe I can help you with your business plan. <laughs> Should I be a voice actor? Can I stop going blurry? 
Hello, I'm right here. Should I, should I become a voice actor? Do you guys think I could be successful? <laughs> just then, Sprinkles arrives to signal the true start of the class day. He's panting, which doesn't seem that abnormal. He's a professor, but he's also a dog. <laughs> you're okay, dot, dot, dot. Spelled, you're wrong. Okay, thank you. Students, students, please take your seats. I apologize for my late behavior. What? Huh? <laughs> That's not even a sentence. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all over... <sighs> okay, I'll get it this time. Hang on, we gotta get in position. We gotta get in position. I apologize for my late arrival. I spent the morning chasing a car all around town, and my tiny legs are very, very tired. But I'm here now, and I hope you're ready to learn. Rub is for your dog belly. He loves it. After he catches his breath, Sprinkles regains control of the classroom. Without further ado, we'll review, we'll review the global history of my favorite fowl, the chicken. You want to pay attention to the Anyway. <laughs> you want to pay attention to the lesson. You truly do. Which is why in 1776, at the, de at the signing of the Declaration of Independence, it was a chicken who first signed their name. But you can't help but daydream about Colonel Sanders, and you miss most of the important parts. Colonel Sanders' glasses are pretty damn cool. But, like, how do we have kind of the same frames? Like, like, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Wait, no, how, how does his face angle? Wait, fuck, I can't do it with the mirroring. <laughs> no, wait. No, I was right. Wait, fuck. <laughs> I can't fucking do it. It's this, it's like... <laughs> how does he look better than me? <laughs> that took way too long, dude. Mirroring is the worst. You don't have the facial hair? I Oh yeah, I shaved like yesterday. So that explains it. When you come to, Sprinkles is holding a tray of food in front of you. Well, Ludwig? Naturally, this appears to be a sample platter. This appears to you to be a sample platter. Which item do you want to sample? The, let's do the ghost pepper challenge in the middle of class. A brightly colored pepper stands out from the other items. It sparkles in a most eye-catching way, so naturally you reach out, grab it, and eat it right away. However, your body is not prepared for the heat. I'm Indian, bruh. <laughs> I eat a lot of spicy foods. I like spicy foods. Ari dies again. Please. Oh my god. The pepper is triggered an intense spice hallucination. It feels like forever as you trip through the universe. My friend. Ooh. This guy again? I'm here to give you an important message. Ooh. You must avenge my death and fulfill your destiny. All you must do is... <coughs> but British. That cough is British. I was saying to fulfill your destiny, all you must do is... <coughs> Sorry, I think I've still got some... Sp Wait, he's British. Sorry, I, st I think I've still got some spice stuck in my throat. It's fine, I'll work through... <laughs> British. To fulfill... <laughs> the prophecy... <laughs> British. You must... You feel yourself begin to regain consciousness. That sounded so Scottish. It, it really just jumps between the two. One day... What if I do a stream one day where I just learn accents? That'd be fun, because I'm notorious for just accidentally doing people's accents uh, when I meet them. And, um... Maybe I should just get better at doing them. Then I could just be a voice actor. That could be fun. I feel like voice acting sounds like a really, like, interesting job. Anyway, what? Yeah, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Oh man. Ooh. You come to and find everyone is staring at you. That pepper. Oh shit. That pepper was the last of its kind on earth. And now it's gone forever. You think to yourself, geez, I should pay better attention. We all make mistakes. I'm sure he'll be for I'm sure he'll forgive you someday. Come on, it's time for lunch. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. And your rifles enter to make a dramatic announcement. Today's lunch will be prepared via timed competitive cook-off. 
The level of theatrics with these two is off the charts. Demand that they stop wasting everyone's time. Step up and tell them you're on. Let's just fucking fight them head on, baby. A bit of a bit of lunchtime competition, eh? Count me in. If I have to wipe the tables with these fools before I set my lunch down on it, then so be it. I'm not a fool. You're a fool, fool. Good one, Van Van. I like your gumption, Ludwig. I'll be watching your performance. Just as things reach a boiling point, Sprinkle steps in. Surely he'll put a stop to this madness. Now, now, students. Please settle down. This is the lunchroom, not sports in court. Finally, a little sense. You breathe a sigh of relief. At least, not until we turn on the timer. <laughs> Just then, a huge light blasts you in the face, flashing the words, Timer ready. That's what I'm talking about. Aroo! Aroo! Arf, 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 woof, 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 bark, bark. I stand corrected. The hard way, the hard way builds solidly, fuck. The hard way builds solidly a foundation of confidence that cannot be swept away. And that's an original quote by me in case anyone was wondering. I hope its message lifts you to victory. Like a diamond, I was formed under pressure. And now is my time to shine. I don't know why I made the shine so weird. I'll defeat you all myself. Or defeat you myself, I guess. If you want to, you know, read it word for word. But, like, who does that? You had his chicken and you made mashed potatoes and gravy on day one. And you're feeling you can really impress him again here. It's time to boil some water for the potatoes. Think fast. If the timer runs down, you'll be forced to pick randomly. Which temperature does water boil at? Isn't it this? That's right. But how would you have even gotten into the school without knowing that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh yeah, Gamma Goop, your your message does not show up like close enough to in time. <laughs> Sorry, Mason. Winner gets to rub my furry belly. Let that enticing offer motivate you. You're gonna need to season this chicken before you cook it. You don't know how Colonel Sanders' recipe exactly. You don't know his recipe exactly, but you have an idea. How many herbs do you say you used? 11. That's right, you might not know all of the ingredients yet, but at least you're heading in the right direction. Tail wagging intensifies. Arroo, 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 ruff, ruff, ruff. Now that you've got some basic steps going, it's time to elevate your craft. Which state of mind offers the most fa flavor? Huh? 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 Gratitude. That's right, you must never take this opportunity for granted if you hope to succeed. Your classmates are rooting for you, but... Uh, I, sorry, I forgot how to pronounce your name for a sec. Ashley is simply stronger and faster than you. You'd better pick up the pace if you want to survive. When you were a child, your father told you to never forget where you came from. Every day, you meditate on his device and draw energy from that place. Now would be a great time to harness that energy. So where does it come from? Deep beneath the surface of the Pacific. Oh, that's wrong. This is a horrible time to start forget forgetting important things. You try to shut out the noise of the arena and focus on your cooking. What is the sound of success? Sizzling? Fuck, that's wrong. Don't make me- Don't make me get the spray bottle. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, Ludwig. Oh wait, fuck. What does he sound like? I believe in you, Ludwig. He's actually cheering you on. Which would be awesome, except like knowing he's watching you make- Watch- he, Knowing he's watching you makes you totally forget what you were doing. Now all you can think about is Colonel Sanders. How many spoonfuls of gravy would- uh, what were you thinking? Get your back into the competition. Grr. Grr. Wait, can I do? Can I roll? Grr. I can't roll my R's. I don't know how the fuck to do that. You're stranded on a desert island. There's only one dessert cookbook. Which do you take? What a hunk. I know, right? I know, right? I, I, I bloody, I, I bloody know, right? You know what? Should we... <laughs> I'm losing all the accents and, and just vibes of the characters. You know what? Shouldn't you be focused on the challenge? You're falling behind. Sorry, I forgot the question. <laughs> Exchanging wedding vows. What does that have to do with crafting spectacular fried chicken and delicate baked biscuits? Woof woof. <laughs> but sophisticated. You're really struggling to keep up. At the next station over, Ashley has already begun plating. Has already begun plating elements of a dish it's colorful and complex to make up time you toss your biscuit dough into a stand mixer as you do the crowd gasps uh yikes the put uh, 
I know you love nothing more than seeing a fellow appliance utilizing a kitchen battle, but sometimes that means so sacrificing the personal touch. Were you might not have any hands, but Ludwig does, and a good chef needs to be touching the dough to know when it's properly mixed. There's an easy way and the hard way. You don't get far by going the easy way. When you hear everyone talking, you realize how serious your error was. You immediately shove your hand into the mixer to rescue your dough before it's overmixed. Ludwig, no! But you're not fast enough and your hand gets stuck. It's immediately crushed by its quickly spinning beaters. There's no way you'll be able to use that hand for the rest of the match. Oh, okay, I'll put it behind my back. Sorry. Colonel Sanders shakes his head in shame. What you often find is that the easy way can turn out much, much more difficult. Um... What was his voice? Everyone, stop what you're doing right now. This battle is over. Damn, look at Ashley, though. It can't be. I was so close to finishing my dish. Sweetheart, look at your hand. You simply can't go on. Oh, that's too bad. And here I am with a complete dish ready to serve. Surely that makes me the winner by default. I don't know what the fuck this is anymore, man. No, no. It wouldn't be fair to compare the two on account of Ludwig's injury. You see Sprinkles begin to lick his doggy chops as he locks onto the dish. But, but, I suppose you should at least tell us what you prepared. Well, because I'm the sweetest, I skip straight to dessert. Under this white chocolate dome, you'll find a wide array of delights, taking you on a journey of flavor that tastes good and tells a story of excellence. She's really not good at making this sound good. <laughs> I was going to ask Ludwig to do the honor, but since you're injured, I'm afraid that pouring this creamer of delicate hot chocolate sauce might be too difficult. Colonel Sanders, if you wouldn't mind lending me your strong, steady hand. What if li literally, like, Ashley, let's just leave Colonel Sanders behind and fall in love, okay? Like, am I wrong? Like, I know he's a hunk and stuff, but like, come on. <laughs> Colonel Sanders pours the hot chocolate sauce on top of the dome, causing it to melt away, revealing the ins ingredients with hidden within. Whoa. Inside, you'll find a delicate fried cheese croquet atop a slice of honeycomb, ice cream two ways, tender nougat, and, a pearls, of and pearls of blueberry jelly. Jelly. <laughs> you and the two rivals, Polycule. Colonel Sanders seems intrigued, but perhaps not impressed as he dips his finger into the chocolate sauce. Hmm. Simplicity isn't your strong suit, is it, Ashley? <gasps> oh, you. <laughs> as he places a sauce-covered finger into his lips, Ashley leans over and whispers something into his ear. A dab of sauce sticks to his mustache. Internalize the rage you feel. Eh, internalizing never works. You reach out with your apron to wipe the sauce off of his glistening face. Colonel Sanders recoils and brushes you back. <laughs> Sorry. I read ahead and, and kind of just... That was funny. This goatee isn't just a fashion statement. It's also functional. I'll save that flavor for later. <laughs> no! What? <laughs> no! Fuck. Try again. I can't believe I've died twice. We're gonna assume that Colonel Sanders slits my throat after that. And that's how I died. Before anyone can relax, the cafeteria lights dim. Oh wait, fuck, I already did all of this. Fucking hell, I gotta do all of this again. I'm gonna slit. I'm gonna get. I'm getting slitty. I'm gonna get slitty. 100 C. Uh, 11 herbs. Uh, gratitude. Small town. This is your shot, and you're not gonna miss it. Aroo! You try to shut out the noise, blah, blah, blah. Well, it wasn't sizzling, so maybe it's silence. Yeah. You die in this game? Dude, I literally went into a coma and died earlier from loving the Kentucky Fried Chicken too much because I had some and it, it killed me. Yeah, this game is batshit insane. That's right, when they taste your cooking, they'll be so taken with it, they'll be unable to speak. You notice Colonel Sanders out of the corner of your eye. I believe in you, Ludwig. He's actually cheering you on. And then, and then more of me wanting to fuck this man really bad. 
And I break my fucking hand. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put ourselves. No, wait. I totally forgot. We can't put ourselves between. <laughs> That's crazy. It is. This game is insane. Internalize the rage you feel. Your rage burns so intensely within your eyes that they burst into flames. The flames cause your eyebrows to catch fire and turn to ash, and they fall off your face, which means people have a hard time understanding your emotions for the rest of the semester, perhaps forever. Embarrassed and ashamed by your poor performance, not to mention your crispy fried bro brow, bro, you run for the quad to be alone. The beautiful weather feels like an insult. Inside of you, a storm rages. It's Colonel Sanders. He's probably here to tell you that he and Ashley are in love and have decided to get married. And he won't even ask you to cater his wedding because you're a terrible chef and an awful person. You try to hide from him, but he approaches you directly. I know you're hurting right now. Not just from the de devastating loss, but from that running with the mixer and that small fire. We should probably get that checked out. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm... I'm bloody fine. Can you just- can't you just leave me alone? I'm a loser. I'm not fit to fill your fire. I'll never be a master chef. Failure is a part of life. Not just for you, but for all of us. Do you think I've never failed at anything before? That's exactly what I think. Well, then think again. I wasn't always the man you see before you. Enrolled in culinary school. Incredibly handsome. Successful. Motivated. Humble. Sexy. Handsome. M humble. Intelligent. <laughs> well, handsome, sure, I was born that way. But I've walked other paths and arrived at dead ends. I was passionate about life, but I failed as an obstetrician. I can't believe I succeeded with that word first try. I'm a fucking god. I was passionate about justice, but I failed as a lawyer. I didn't know. People see my delicate ribbon tie and my well-kept beard and assume that I've got it all together. Which is true now, but it hasn't always been. Sounds like this guy could really use a hug. I resolved then that I was going to amount to something. No amount of hours, labor, or money would deter me from giving the best I had to give. As Colonel Sanders changes focus, you can see something ignite inside of him. A burning passion. One has to remember that every failure can be a stepping stone to something better. My new dream is pure, it's honest, it's something that a humble man in a crisp white suit can be proud of. I'll create a new chain of chicken restaurants that will bring joy to the entire world and make up for my past misdeeds. Yay! Just as your moment grows intimate, you're interrupted by a threatening shadowy presence. Battle scarred from the night before you prepare for the worst. It's a spork monster. Gorko, the spork monster, is here to fight a hero. Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? Wait, I went British. Is anyone else feeling a bit of deja vu? I'm sorry, Goku, but I could have sworn we've already ba we already battled you last night, bruv. That, wait, what was this? I did it, I made it squat squat-ish, right? What's another accent I can do? Oh, that was Borko, my twin! And I, Gorko, am here to avenge them! Are you stronger than Borko? Well, we're twins, so no no, not really. We're pretty much exactly equal in every way. Why do you ask? <laughs> Colonel Sanders smirks. He's already on the same page as you. It's just that we beat Bolko pretty easily, so I don't think you have much of a chance. Not to mention, I feel really guilty about that. If I had to take it back, I would. I think what Ludwig is saying is, can't we just be friends? Life's too short for making enemies. Gerhulk, um, you miss the, the- there's a new spork monster. It's the twin of the old one. I suppose we really don't need a fight. It's just that I've got these pointy teeth and claws. All the better for enjoying tasty foods. Surely you'll eat them. Surely you like to eat them. Don't we all? Of course I do. Inspiration strikes and you come up with a quick idea. Ch chomp on this. You toss a biscuit into Gorko's open mouth and he devours it in one gulp. Delicious. You're much nicer than the evil students who once upon a time turned me into this creature who stands here today. You're still playing this? Nice. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? I don't believe it. You were human once. Well, no, I was Chihuahua, but I was still a school. I was still a school at the student <laughs> until one day, some mean kids with a magic spell will cast a dark enchantment on me, and I was forever transformed. What if we find the professor? Love a magic spell book. 
Precisely. Borco used to have a copy, but somewhere along the lines, I've lost it. If you find such a book, I beg of you, respect it. You're a powerful chef and shouldn't re rely on such dark and evil magic. No, you should be protecting the innocent from those who would cheat them through sorcery and guile. Giving this man, like, a fucking delusional voice. Whatever. It was, it was perfect, I think. It was a perfect uh, decision. If you need me, don't fear. I'll be right there. I'll be there. I'll be I'll be right here. Why is Colonel Sanders facing the other way? Um, So we can take in his incredible jawline. It sounds like there are some bad cooks in the kitchen of life. Ludwig, together I'm sure we can defeat them. <laughs> it's so funny to me sometimes and I just remember that I named him Ludwig. Oh, the one Ashley has? Yeah. Yeah, she has the she has the recipe book that we need. I'm really proud of this little face cam that you guys see. I'm tempted to stretch it out horizontally and shrink it vertically and make it more of a square. I might try. I was gonna try it today, but um, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, I think he said, come back to my hideaway and we'll discuss. I don't remember if I said that, but a personal invite. You can't imagine what Colonel Sanders' home must be like, but it sounds like you're about to find out. Stepping inside Sanders' home, surrounded by things, you start to feel a special bond with him. It looks like you live such an exciting life, Colonel Sanders. Every day can be an adventure if you approach it with the right attitude. Long ago, I made the decision to never stop searching, never stop working, never stop imagining. Okay, Disney. Have you been working on any new recipes of your own lately? I'm always excited to talk about food with another ambitious chef. Well, there is something. It's just a soy dish that I've been tinkering with, just trying to find the right balance of flavors and textures. I'm not sure I've nailed it yet, but I'm close. Colonel Sanders' eyes perk up as he starts to wonder what dish you might be describing. It's meant to pair with something spicy or something crispy, both perhaps. Now you've got him. Now you've got. Now you've got him right where you want him. Should you re reveal your new creation to him or keep it a secret just for you? Long face cam is superior. We'll test that square, and if we like long more, we'll stick with long, with uh, with iPhone cam. I think we reveal it. Let's reveal it. You decide that you're as ready as you'll ever be to share your original cooking with Colonel Sanders. Before you can talk yourself out of it, you decide to dive in head first. You reach into your lunch bag for a special dish that you've been keeping on ice all day. I present to you my original coleslaw. The shredded cabbage dish <laughs> glistens in the light of Colonel Sanders' Luke's hideaway. Lux? Luke's? Lux. Magnificent. Together, you chow down on the creamy slaw until just a spoonful remains in the bowl. Do you mind? Do Wait, fuck, what's his voice? Do you mind if I hold on to the last bite? I like to have it around so I can admire, t admire its taste later and think back on this moment. You could offer to make him more, but he seems like a very sentimental kind of guy. Sure, why not? Please, make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in just a moment. You realize that now would be the perfect time to do some snooping. Around the room are various items that you can look closer at. Each item seems to radiate memories and emotions. Tap on an item to score, discover more about the kernel. Chicken! <laughs> you notice a very realistic stuffed chicken sitting on a corner table. When you pick it up, you realize it isn't just realistic, it's real. Tax taxidermy must have been important to Colonel Sanders when he was alive. A little note clipped to the chicken's foot reads, The true state bird of the great state of Kentucky. Tap on him. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> What's up, Alex? Good to see you. This must be where he keeps the secret recipe. You think for a moment. One number is important to Colonel Sanders. Then it dawns on you. As soon as you turn to the diary to a level 11, 11, 11, the safe opens. Inside it, you find a single note. Hmm. Can chicken be prepared sashimi style? Hmm, but British. An adorable little baby boy crawls across the floor. From the goatee and mustache combo he sports, you figure out this must be Colonel Sanders himself. That or maybe it's the drumstick that he seems to be waving like a rattle. Who frames a baby picture of just themselves? Probably the same type of person who would make their own face the logo of the company they founded, am I right? <laughs> you take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty, but when you wipe it off, you can read the inscription. It says, here lies the ash some of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy. 
the photo appears to be Colonel Sanders of Sekti's an old man visiting the pyramids of Egypt. Maybe this was where he discovered one of those secret herbs and spices. One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks a bit like Colonel Sanders staying with a friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cheersing themselves. Did I say that right? Cheersing them? I don't know. You look closely and see that there's a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. Probably his friend Pete, you stupid wanker. A lock of silver hair is woven through the teeth of the comb. Upon further inspection, you realize that the hair therein isn't just silver in color, it's actually just made of spun silver. A scented candle. You pick it up and try to identify the smell. Power tool? S freshly starched collar? Piece of wood floating in a lake? Summer of 69? Ha 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 ha. 69. No, it's one of the secret recipe ingredients. It's beep pop beep boop. You gaze out the window across a vast lake and mountain range beyond. Just then, the ghost of student pops up. Are you thinking about heading out into the world on a quest to avenge my dad? Wait, what? I never even learned your name. Why would I avenge you? Oh, I could just tell you my name right now. It's... Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? You open the window a crack and the ghost of student is swept out with the breeze. I don't think there's anything else sparkly here, so let's go here. You open the door to Colonel Sanders' closet and find a row of his signature white suits hanging within. You take one off its hanger and try it on. The jacket is a bit big for you, but it's soft and comfortable. You give yourself a deep hug, breathing in his scent. They say that home is where the heart is. Is this what they meant? <laughs> this is fucking creepy, man. Before you can look any further, you hear Cur Colonel Sanders returning. He has a new dish that he's been working on, and he wants you to taste it. You try to act casual until he asks, we asks you why you're wearing his jacket. I don't usually loan this house. those out, but I must say, it does look good on you. Oh crap, the jacket! You forgot to take it off! You tell him you're cold. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to intrude, I just got a little cold and thought this might warm me up. Is this your first time seducing the colonel? Yes, and probably my last. Colonel Sanders smiles and scoots closer to the fireplace. It's warm by the fire, why don't you come a little closer? Suddenly, everything feels like it's moving too fast. Final exams are tomorrow. You should be thinking about what you're gonna do, what you're gonna cook. I should be home studying. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run for the door. But the thought of leaving the colonel and leaving colonel in the midst of such an emotional breakthrough gives you pause. You stop yourself, Colonel. Yes, yes, Ludwig. I honestly think this may be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. It's become a yearly tradition for me since the game was published. I've never played this before, but um, I had plans to a couple times, and then I just thought it was right for Valentine's Day. Just made sense. I changed today's go live notification to say, "Do you want to be my Valentine?" Did anyone say yes? <laughs> anyway, you tug late into the night and drift off into a slumber. Dream sequence, baby. And then, dude, the frame rate, like the 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 FPS in that in that little sequence, is uh painful. You awake to a beautiful warm morning in Colonel Sanders' hideaway. Did you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sanders? Only time will truly tell. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. Beep boop beep bop. In some jurisdictions, beep 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 isn't even- wait, I switched it up, it's fine. Isn't even legal. But if the recipe is a secret, how will they know? Your thoughts are interrupted when Colonel Sanders emerges into the room. He's holding a gorgeously plated breakfast and your mouth waters at the sight of it. Here's a simple breakfast I just whipped up. Oh wait, I totally forgot he has a voice. Here's a simple breakfast that I just whipped up. It's meticulous. You taste Colonel Sanders' food and it takes you on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say that we're the perfect match? How presumptuous. My cuisine, my, uh, my cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Such confidence, such grace. Could you be the world's greatest gift to cookery? Fuck it, flatter him. You know, I think we might make a great team. A single tear, tear, <laughs> a single tear begins to pull in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window. And with the right business partner, I know I can't fail. Business partner, could he be talking to you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and confused by your feelings, you're on the verge of tears. Unable to speak, the only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. 
There's still one more day of school after all. The University of Cooking School Ac Academy for Learning waits for no one. You get home to find something very surprising. Your best friends are waiting for you. Where have you been? I... Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried that something had happened to you. It's okay, I was just... But now that it turns out you're fine, I can finally get you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but... You will not believe what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date! I think I can believe that. Since I'd been partnered up with Pop, he asked me to go out with him. Of course I told him, you'd better harness, harness those wild horses, young man. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time together and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure, I can get to know the little guy. Long story short, he took me to his, to his favorite shush house. But things quickly spiraled out of control. Did she just say shush house? Is that as if that's a thing people just say? What is that even referring to? Is that a movie theater? Is that a library? And now I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole... You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole story, however. Balling up the de details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a date too, back to Colonel Sanders' house, where I spent the night with him. You! What? Nothing happened, but the emotional connection. Wowzers. Miriam offers to support you no matter what you do. Together with your bestie, you feel like you can do anything. When you, you, when you arrive at school, you encounter your rivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop, though you himself might not quite grasp that fact. I think it's like a club. Why would this little boy be at a club? Because, you know, he's Pop. What's a swirly? It sounds delicious. I just realized that Pop is Mickey. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Whoops. My throat is starting to hurt. Alex, do you know how, um, how close I am to the end right now? Oh my god, Rook has been calling uh, Van Van the Jojo Man for, <laughs> for like so long. The entire stream. Oh, it's great. I'll order you one up, up one right away. Van Van and Ashley do not have a consistent accent or, or demeanor with me. I'll have my swirly with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles is a dog and a treat. You can get your swirly dipped too. Why don't you go pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally- Wait, fuck. Because I'm literally the biggest person at the school? There's that horse that Colonel Sanders rides to school, but who would dare pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You've got some nerve, Ludwig, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're twisting my words, and I won't have it. You clench your fist, but the injury from yesterday's mixer accident makes you wince from pain. Pretty close, you're about three-fourths through, I'd say maybe a bit less. Oof. So I might still be here for like... Another 30 minutes or so. Okay, that's fine. What time is it? I have school tomorrow, and I have to write an essay in school tomorrow. Oh, it's only 11. 17. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. It's okay. You clench your fist, but okay. Doesn't look like you can go cooking on. You can go on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. I'll, wait, <laughs> I'll never give up ever. Colonel Sanders arrives just as appears things are close to boiling over. A naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone excited for the final day of school? Bloodwig has a hand failing. I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form by this afternoon. Aren't you concerned with my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a win I don't believe a winner was dis decided, but your presentation was quite impressive. What is he doing complimenting her? I'm a bitch. I'm a piece of shit. Ludwig No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> It's 11. Okay, I'm out. I gotta sleep. Have a good night, Rook. My lips are dry. <laughs> this game was created to cancel Ludwig. But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. It's a lot of words to say it was bland. That accent did not- nope, that was very different. It's fine. 
Excuse me, Ludwig. I'm more than capable en enough to speak for myself. Maybe you could tell more of your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always inter interested in discussing the fine arts of fine foods. See you inside, Ludwig. Annoyed by C Colonel Sanders' ability to see Ashley for who you know she is, she really is, you walk across the quad to get some distance. I should probably sleep because I have a driver's test tomorrow. Oh shit, well, if you do, I mean, good luck <laughs> if you do leave right now. Otherwise, um, good luck regardless, I guess. <laughs> In an attempt to distract yourself from how slighted you feel by that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spellbook you recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Whoa, that's the book? It looks like bad news. Bad news bears! <laughs> it's just something I found lying around. It would appear to be some sort of grimoire, but I don't really believe in that magic stuff. A grimoire? Like a book of spells? I don't know, who would spend so much time de decorating a magic book if it, wasn't, if it weren't really powerful? I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open to a page covered with arcane warnings. Cast only in case of extreme emergency, it says around the edges of the pages. Of the page. I could use this spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all my memories. If I scrub out Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming exam. That is way drastic. Couldn't you do something else, like anything else not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine. It is drastic, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> I'm really good with words. You've got a memory erasing spell sitting right in front of you, and it's a pretty good use and a pretty good excuse to try it out. Um, I really don't think I should do it, but fuck it, content, cast it. You begin to recite the spell, but you stumble on the words, and the only effect it seems to have is, you, is to make you forget what it is you were doing. <laughs> oh right, after looking at the page again, it comes rushing back to you. You've got a memory. <laughs> cast it. Cast it. Oh shit. There was there was something there. Cast it. Hold on to your butt. I think I killed myself. Whoops. <laughs> Girl, cause <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Did I restart? No, did I restart? No, no, you can't be serious. You slept through the school year and gave up on the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to meet Colonel Sanders. Game over. Already? You might not be cut out for this. Well, let's try that again. Did I just restart? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> no! I lost Colonel Sanders! so close to the end so um so i'm thinking we just play this again next year how are we feeling about that <laughs> you got listen here's the thing multiple endings right i assume are there multiple endings i assume there are considering alex has played multiple times Cool, so that was the first ending, guys. <laughs> what if we just make this a yearly Valentine's Day tradition? Because I'm not playing through this entire game again right now, bro. What the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> there's no- there's no chance. So- so what if, right? What if? Next... Um, next year, on Valentine's Day... Okay, well, let's try to speedrun. Let's try to speedrun. Let's see if we can. And see how we're feeling. Speed run! Uh, I pep talker. I'm gonna try to make every single same decision that I made before. Listen, I've gotten used to clicking a bunch of buttons at once. I play Hades a bunch, so we're good. Aww. 
And so much happens without you making a decision. This game is very just story led. You don't really do much. Uh, I take it. Oh look, he's still alive, guys. Apparently me turning back time makes him still alive. I gave him chicken. I sat with my best friend. Uh, I did made pins. I did feather. I did... Listen, I did meet tenderizer. I'm doing spork this time. Fuck. Fuck that. Um, sure. And best boy. I want to see what he says this time. What Colonel Sanders says. Oh, only one wrong. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. It's narrator. Only one wrong. Not too shabby. You might just do all right, kid. You'll look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you. Tell your score. He nods with approval. So much happened in this game. <laughs> I have so much to get through. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> What's up gamers? Did I do anything interesting today? I didn't really. We did Valentine's Day stuff. I have a whole bag of val Valentine's Day candy. Um, I was modest. Oh, this one's annoying shit. Okay. I made her go with pop. Uh, I told him I wanted to do octopus. So let's just keep going with that. It's a good thing I miss most of your stream. Yeah, you're getting all of it right now. In in bite-sized form. Oh yeah, we accidentally murdered a student. Totally forgot about that part. I'm gonna have to fight the the bitch boy again. Alright, we attacked. We attacked. Let's just keep attacking. And then I said I'd defend. Uh, we finished him because we're assholes. And we used our student debt loan destruction to defeat him. This is just insane. <laughs> I cannot believe that after this entire... After two and a half hours of playing this game... <laughs> I said we'd stand back. Speedrun is working. I remember all my options, so it's working pretty well, actually. Um, Tell them to stop acting immature. I don't know why my memory is just better today, but... We're gonna finish this fucking game. We're gonna do it. We're, I, we have to now. I ate the shimmering pepper. I don't know if there was a good option there. I don't know if any of them were good. Maybe the, the water? Oh yeah, coughing in British. Seven. Oh yeah, I, I told them I wanted to fight. Maybe a bad idea. Oh shit, I gotta do this again. 100 C. 11. Gratitude. That. Silence. And then a bunch of shitty ones that don't matter regardless of what you do. My finger hurts. <laughs> it's hurting so bad. Internalize the rage. Are we about to meet the other spork monster? Yeah! Gorko! Oh, yeah, Gorko. 
I think the whole fight sequence really doesn't matter. Probably not. Oh, and then we're gonna have to click through all of the stuff. Um, we wanted to reveal it. Ah, uh, the amount of clicking I gotta do. It's just a plot point for hand injury slash no hand injury. You're right, but I like doing it perfect. Oh shit, I didn't look at that thing, my bad. You tell him you're cold. I can't believe this is working. <laughs> I can't believe we're, we're so close again. I said I'd flatter him. I'm gonna have to remember the fucking... Um, voices. We've been doing this for so long without me doing the voice, I'm gonna fucking forget again. Oh my god. Okay. Anyway, now we're not gonna do it. Cool, we're back, guys. Good job. It only took us like five minutes. You take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Sprinkles is already in the room waiting for the students to arrive. He clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want, I want you all to know I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. Two hours of gameplay summed up in like five minutes. Yeah, but without all the humor. That's what happens when you rip all the humor out. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. He must be hungry. Reach for some old Um. Let's wait. I made my lips bleed. I was biting my lips and I think they're bleeding. Yeah, cool. That's fine, this is fine, this is fine and fine and fine. Sprinkle stops in his tracks, he focuses in on the window. The room is deadly silent. When you follow his gaze, you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the orange on the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns feral and runs to the window of the classroom. He begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Terrence, I told you never to come back here, Terrence. I will destroy you, Terrence. Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drool flying off of his face. The squirrel looks over, but isn't saying anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? You better not shoot chubby cheeks around here ever again. After Sprinkles is satisfied that his presence has been felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel in hearing distance, he returns to his professional tone. Ahem. I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Ludwig, for reminding me to dole out this indispensable bit of wisdom. You see, before you can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over into the classroom. Oh shit, <laughs> Sprinkles is interrupted by sad whimpering coming from the back of the room. I told you to save it for after class, but I miss you. Yeah, HSW, the dog is a professor. This game's insane. We went on one date, Pop, and how can you miss me when I'm right here? Pop's voice quiz quivers as he pleads his case to Miriam. Every time I blink, you go away again. That's a really cute thing to say. Miriam, what happened between you and Pop? I got her in trouble and now she's mad at me. I didn't get in trouble. I just I got yelled at by Pop's mother who blames me for getting him banned from every museum we set foot in. Oh, so that's what you meant by Shush House. Pop, we went on one date. We're over. And it, me and it meant so much to me that I made this for you. Too hurt to go on arguing, Pop leaves his um, creation behind and runs out of the room. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pall over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't be distracted from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam. Trademark. I'm still working on the title, but I think you get it. Test time approaches. See you all in the arena. But before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Hey, Miriam. Are you okay? Okay, I'm so mad I could... Smash tiny mug, spilling several drops of hot cocoa all over the floor. How could he embarrass me in class like that in front of everyone? I don't know why she has such weird positions. She's just kooky and crazy and wacky and wild. 
and quirky and random and uh, poggers. <laughs> her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her fr frustration is such a silly boy. I know that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you, we're going to cruise through this final test and hit the carpool lane to success city. Suck. Sorry. <laughs> Miriam brains up, imagining the wind rushing through her short bangs, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. You're not going to saddle up on uh, Colonel Sanders' stallion and ride off into the sunset without me. Of course not. Well, maybe sorta, of, but I'm sure there's a pony out there with your name on it and a ranch big enough for both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not Papa Clank or whoever else you meet today or tomorrow or this whole year, so what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first person to show you a little interest in it. anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hug and, hug and wipes the tears from your cheeks. I should really review my menu for today. I'm going to make a very special soup. And I bet that Professor Dog is going to... Fuck. And I bet that... <laughs> and I bet that Professor Dog is going to love it up. While you were pep talking Miriam, you, were, you completely missed lunch. But that's okay, because you had a better idea of how to spend the time before your exam. You decided to head to the arena early to practice a dish. This is it, the location of your final challenge. A test of will. A test of courage. A test of talent, and a chance to beat the pants off of Van Van, the supposed Van Man, and his evil counterpart, Ashley. As planned, you begin to run through a quick test for a recipe you've been working on, Ludwig's famous chicken pot pie. After practicing for months, making this dish comes second nature to you, and you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, your cram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. Ludwig, what are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Oh, just taking it all in. I'm big into visualizing success. I'm looking at my station and picture, picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake and the smell is slowly filling, filling the space around you. Visualizing, huh? That's not too, ba that's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. You'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it cost you a cook-off. You decide that it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but that decision gets hard to stick to when... The oven timer goes off behind you. Fess up. Okay, 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 you got me. You got me. Did I just go Canadian? Okay, okay, you got me. You got, you got me. Bruv, I'm doing a little more than visualizing. I know. My, I know. My, mo my nose can smell pot pie from 400 yards. <laughs> That's an oddly specific distance, but you'd expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. You knew it was just a pot pie just from the spell. Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Haha, <laughs> no. I can, I can smell that it was made from a heaping helping of TLC. But it'll probably start burning any second if you don't pull it out. The moment of truth. Wow. It's the best pot pie I've ever- Wait, fuck. It's the best- <laughs> it's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. I've always loved country cooking, and I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown. It's about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules. That is, except to cook with everything you've got. You step up for the sh cook-off of a lifetime. You decide that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that'll push you over the edge to victory. Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ashley are prepping wildly elaborate dishes per their o usual over-the-top selves. KFC pot pies are generally so good. I have not had any KFC food ever. Because it's called Conf Kentucky Fried Chicken, which is not great for someone who's vegetarian. <laughs> Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's definitely prepared to go big going small. Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something perfect. His original recipe, fried chicken. The intensity in the room starts at, a, at, at, at full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone here is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders badges his chicken as, he, as it levitates through the air. Egg wash. Miriam furiously injects ingredients into an itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, Bastard Blaster. Van Van flexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Oh, let's rock and roid! Ashley scoops her pa pastries off the tray with lightning speed. Shallow personality spatula! 
Even Clink's get, gets in, even Clink gets in on it. Beep boop beep. Oh, <laughs> five dial pressure point chicken cooking technique. Wait, when did Clink learn to speak English? Yeah, I was surprised too. It's a singularity, as was foretold. We mustn't let it happen, or that planet's uprising will take us all. self destru Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out the back door of the arena. As you fran frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spellbook out. Is she going to use some dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Do it the hard way. We we already had this problem once. I'm not going to restart all over again. Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm going to do it the hard way. The hard way. I'm really losing the accent here. Ludwig's classic British accent. Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. I believe in you, Ludwig. Miriam notices too. And I've always believed in you, Ludwig, since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever. You turn to notice that Mi Miriam is at your station, cheering for you. Miriam, what about your dish? <laughs> Miriam, what about your dish? If you're here cheering, who's cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet, but... Miriam tosses a handful of slices directly into your boiling noodles. It's the secret ingredient. However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. And where in the hell did she... Where in the world did she get I have Newt from? The bowling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watering... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the watering noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into a dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is I, Steve, the spork monster. Steve? Wait, what happened to Golko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We spork monsters are many. I think Gorko had the day off, but you have conjured Steve and I hate to battle, so I say you're doing pretty alright. Oh hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition. I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You you crazy kids in your cult blah, blah, blah. It's better than TV. You <laughs> You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Steve, the spork monster, notices that you got the grim grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscrossed some magical items and actually accidentally stunned me, huh? I really cannot talk anymore. It's it's getting to that point in the stream where I'm losing it. I'm losing my shit. <laughs> Wait, fuck. What's his accent? Hey, yeah, you guessed it, sorta. Of. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salt water? Water? A bottle of water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to be a top shelf, actually. You know, when I was just a little spork pup back in the old country. A spork pup. You can feel spork monster winding up to tell a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they come from, but it feels like it would probably be lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's kind of like that time monster school where I had fallen asleep during scare tactics class, and when I woke up, you toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes a hint. Never mind, I'll tell you later. Wait, shit, was he British? Never mind, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Never mind, I'll tell you later. Good luck. Having suffered this huge setback, you don't know how you could ever win. Uh, give up and drop out? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna- No. You summon extra power from deep down within yourself. Nitro boost, baby. I can do this. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary en energy flows through your body. I'm going fucking super sane. My heart is my heart, my heart, my heart is pure. My hands are steady. My knees weak, arms are ready. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for. Yes, Ludwig, you are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning, uh, summoning immediately fades back out. You interrupted my inspiring monologue. Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are ready. Steady, my taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that with this power you can do anything. Upset like turn back time, which would be super useful, because while you were powering up, your ch chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served. But don't worry, dear Ludwig. You may have suffered some setbacks, but all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. I have been watching you today, and I must say I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. To be fair, I did turn back time, but whatever. 
What kind of damn anime cooking show dating sim is this? I don't know, and it's beautiful. I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese, and time is almost up, so you're gonna need it. But, but Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What, about, what will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. Colonel Sanders unfold- This music is fucking banger, by the way. I really hope it's not copyrighted. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes on. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects as surprass- <laughs> Wow. Colonel Sanders doesn't know how to speak, really. I mean, he is dead, isn't he? Something like that? I don't know. And besides, sometimes unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpass, surpass their individual efforts. Fucking hell. Are you suggesting if we can combine forces, we can form the perfect food union? Time's up, students. With time expired, it's the moment everyone's been waiting for. You must now prepare to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. It seems we're missing some students. Pop? Clank? From off screen, you hear a pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. <laughs> I'm flying! It sounds like it's coming from that bloom 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 that broom closet over there. Miriam, do you mind? Would you mind? Inside the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop, get down from Pop, get down from there right now. Right this instant, motherfucker. Let me guess. Did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asked for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought- I thought a wedgie was a salad! It looks like Pop is eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. I can't feel my legs! May I be excused? Sure. You kids and your pranks. I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCAL history, but it's not exactly your book material. Wait a minute. Pranks. Pranks. Clank! Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? You wait to hear a signature word beep or other onomatopoeia, but there's nothing. Somehow he got, he got must have gotten unplugged. I guess, yeah, sure. Sprinkles, you stupid bitch. We'll have to figure that out later. Sorry, that was mean. <laughs> that leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final projects. Yes, it has been a long semester. Wow, three whole days long. But after days of hard work, the time has come for me to eat. Miriam, please step forward. Now describe your dish. I've made. Tender udon noodles and savory soup. It's Jesus. My word, it's so delicate. Is that teeny tiny Naruto Maki I spy afloat in this itsy bitsy bowl? Yes, chef. Please call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. <laughs> yes, Sprinkles. And some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around that dish. Carefully sifts around the dish before opening his mouth and laying just the tip of his pink tip, pink dog tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime. Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on. I'm not one of those dogs who doesn't floss. I even have a really good electric toothbrush for dogs. Fine. I'll enjoy it all by myself. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. It was less than a thimble's worth of soup. A plus. Rarely do I taste a dish with as much love poured into it as yours. Miriam isn't overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Ludwig, for helping me to believe in myself. Van Van, you're up. Now, describe your dish. I made uni over smooth egg custard and axe urchin shell topped with caviar. Did you skewer one type of urchin with spines from a second different colored type of urchin? Yes, yeah, sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bitch much. Bitch much. A bit much is kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans in to sniff the uni, but he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. He begins to paw at, it, paw at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. Woof, and also woof. Please be gentle with my cuisine. Grr, Hulk. Haha, <laughs> get it? Finally, Sprinkles goes all in, tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. Youch, my tongue. Youchers. Not poggers. I don't know why Sprinkles got weird. The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to a sting. I can't eat this. It keeps poking my tongue. Disqualified. A stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could make it difficult to eat? 
Dejected, Van Van does not go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour? Don't discount simplicity. This isn't the last you'll hear of me. Before Forcey has to endure his swollen tongue for, tongue for another moment, Sprinkles, Sprinkles gradually laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student, Ashley, it's time to step up. Now scrap your dish. I made orange blossom, tur blossom Turkish delay in a light rose water syrup topped with fresh mer meringue and connected with, but yep, sugar glass. Sure, shut the fuck up, Ashley. Holy shit, my brain. Okay. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I ask that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very flashable and meant to be a display piece. Don't eat the food at a cooking school. Got toasty or something, Ludwig? I told you it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say it is beautiful. However, it is a cooking competition at a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it, and I did an extremely good co job cooking it too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating, School for the Hungry. I can't make dot 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 noises. Sorry, guys. Ellipses. There you go. I suppose you could smell it if you, if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. Rage overtakes Ashley, and she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it cooked you. And with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best, but this time without being shackled by trying to be fake, nice, and liked by everyone. This isn't the last you've heard of me, either. <laughs> this game's funny. I like this game. It's fun. It's a fun little, fun little guy, fun little game guy. If this class gets much spawner, small, spawner, small, yep, smaller, I'll be teaching myself. You and Colonel Sanders, the final cook, step up together. Two chefs? Two wars? Two wars? <laughs> Sorry. This is a... <laughs> Never mind. It's a Always Sunny reference and always... And on the Always Sunny podcast, they also reference it. And I just watched one of the episodes today and they reference it. So... You know, anyway. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese. I'm so hungry. I might go make mac and cheese after this because I haven't had dinner has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. Uh-oh, I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a literal drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in this kitchen, you give me this, this thing, and completely blow me away in my 49 dog years of life. I've never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, the fact that everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass. Everyone gets around and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. And I killed them all. You win! Together, you and Colonel Sal Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so pr impressive, even the Van Van and Ashley are drawn back in by its magnetic fragrance. What's the repercussions of draw drawing you as a sexy chef? I don't think there are any. I mean, there are, there are going to be repercussions for me from, you know, Jazz and uh, Birdie and Lane and Mason and Ryder. Um... But, you know, and Kai. I think Kai. But, you know, go for it. <laughs> go for it. It's very funny. And make sure to post it in my Discord. I'll... I'll, I'll <laughs> Fucking... That's funny. That sounds funny. The new menu item... They have where read that. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you're indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone's passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment. To get the groove on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to survive survive sur yep, sur yep, 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 beep, boop. In order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. DJ Dog in the house. Ow, ow, ow. You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but also a world-renowned turntablist? Who knew? You, who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they're, they've committed themselves to riding the rugs they did while they were the villains. Hey yo! Hey damn! Damn! Hey yo! For a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting. No ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the school's bylaws. I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to get you to finally notice me. Oh, amusing. 
And now that everyone is together, it's the Spork Monster. He's totally mulled out. I only really do it if you bully Ellie for being less buff. Why aren't you more buff? Alright. <laughs> there you go. I realize you can see the thumbs up, but there you go. <laughs> everyone, the spork monster is no more. From here out, I'd prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name, Party Monster. Student tries to figure out what he had to say, but everyone's too wrapped up talking to spork. Sorry, Party Monster. Dejected, student walks off. And probably dies at some point. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking, and you know she's gonna do great. A red carpet rolls out across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could, who could command such an entrance? It's Pop. He's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for good reason. Walking the carpet, you see perched atop his dirty chef's hat. A, cr a crown? A crin? Welcome back, Pop. Wait, no. Welcome back, Pop. I know you weren't able to compete, complete the final exam except your diploma. So we had to mail it- we had it mailed directly to your father. We figured it was the least we could do for the school's dean. Oh, now I get it. And we got- and we get a new wing on the school, not to mention the honor of educating the son of the chancellor of such and such. Haha. <laughs> Miriam, will you be my lady king? What an incredible turn of events, an offer to join the royal family. It's like a dream come true. You'll get to be a princess or maybe a queen. I'm not even sure if he knows, but... Either way, crowns and glowns, gl crowns, baby. I'm sorry, Papa. I'm not interested. Not now, at least. I've got so much to do with my life. A twift, a twist on a twist! So many more three-day universities to attend. So many tiny foods to meticulously sculpt and then watch get accidentally blown away by a single sneeze. Okie doke. <laughs> oh shit, Ellie texted back. Why? <laughs> Lazy, you know that. I love that guy. <laughs> He's just like, I'm lazy, dickhead. <laughs> the music at the dance is interrupted again by the sound of sparkling and electric hissing. It's Clank who has arrived late to the party. Now that I've graduated, I can reveal my truth. What are we still doing the talking thing? I'm Clank and I'm not of this earth. I'm actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? 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 <laughs> I actually feel like I knew it this whole time. Now that I've learned the ways of your kind, I must return. A portal door opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. I need this game to fucking end. I need it to end. I need to eat. I'm so hungry. Can this please end? I don't know how to feel about him without the apron. I, I don't know how to feel. Ellie texted back. <laughs> Damn. This is the end? Okay, thank you. Yeah, he he damned me an image of Lane saying when I'm supposed to be modding a stream, but sleeping is more sexy or something like that. Basically, Lane is supposed to be here, but the little bitch didn't feel like it. Even though he was like, oh my god, you're playing the KFC Dane game? That's gonna be so funny. And it was. And he missed it, little bitch. Make sure to send uh, the VOD to everybody that you know, so that everyone gets to enjoy- I feel like this will be one of the funniest VODs I've had, honestly. I'm gonna- I'm, I might edit it a little bit, so that it's actually, like, good, you know? Because I think this one's actually pretty funny. I already clipped part of it? Oh boy. HSW, hang on. Imagine without the shirt. Howdy, classmates. Just like the first team met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give them a bucket of chicken. This time it's a full meal. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken and man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. Oh. <laughs> His name isn't Lane, it's Ghost Lane on Twitch. The end. No, it's not the end. As everyone feasts on their delicious chicken dinner, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Ludwig, what are you doing sitting all alone? Just bleep the swears and post the whole thing. Oh, I, I never bleep the swears, and I never get in trouble for it. I mean, I'm not modest. I'm not monetized on my VOD archive channel, so it doesn't matter. Then again, I'm not monetized on my uh, other channel either. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> oh, you know, just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me what are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? 
off the top of my head, oh, I don't know, a spiky musk, a tidy goatee, and a degree from the University of Co Cooking School. Academy for Learning, just to name a few. It truly is my lucky day. Just post the whole thing unedited. I don't know if people would enjoy that. Let's see. I'll think about it. I'm going to post it on the VOD Archive channel. And then maybe if I want to edit it down into a small YouTube video, I will. Otherwise, I'll just leave it as VOD Archive and people can just send the archive to people. Would you dance with me? Yes, I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stress out in front of you. And once my hundred franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off. And I'll be happy to spend, <laughs> spend together with you, Ludwig. How sweet. We'll work together and play together. Wow, the lights went off. They go off at midnight and it's we've been streaming. Whoops. We've been streaming for so long that they went off. I'm 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 about to pass out. <laughs> I've dropped this fucking thing twice in two seconds. Anyway. Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together. Well, um, I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah, Girl Hulk. Or fucking HSW? Not Girl Hulk. It, it, it's right there. Look at it. That's my normal YouTube channel. And my VOD archive channel is where I post all my Twitch VODs. And that's on a separate channel, which is linked in that channel at the bottom, I believe. And if it's not, it's also in my Twitter. It's also in my YouTube channel. It's in my Discord channel. Um, in my Discord, I believe it's pinned in um, content announcements, I think. It should be pinned there. So there's a lot of places to get to the VOD Archive channel. That one I don't advertise as much because it's just kind of like VODs. I don't think people enjoy those those as much, but you know. Anyway, but who will, but who will help you run your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path, path forward? Could it be you found a love connection but failed to earn Colonel Sanders' respect as a chef? Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love? The life of an entrepreneur? I uh, suppose I could enroll at pastry school. Oh my dear Ludwig, I'm sure you'll find your place eventually. And along the way you'll have me by your side. The end. So now we have to play this again next year where we try to... No, 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 it's so loud, it's so loud, it's so loud. Is it? <laughs> We're good, we're good, we're good. Guys, guys, I did it! Guys, I did it! Look! We're gonna go through the credits. Hey, congratulations to all- Hey, shout out specifically to Trevor Conrad. I'm so proud of you. I technically lost? Listen, I technically lost, but I, I fell in love with him. And next time, right? Next time, we'll just, uh, we'll just, we'll just, we'll, we'll just do perfect. Because I'm sexy. So how about that, motherfucker? <laughs> Um, we did it. We fell in love with Mr. KFC, and I'm sweaty, <laughs> and I'm tired, and my throat hurts, and I'm hungry, and the stream is ending. There's an ending where you outright get rejected. Maybe we should just do that once. I'm gonna have the best ending guide up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, I I won't. I'll try to do it legit. We might skip through some of the dialogue next year though. Cause God, my throat. Or maybe we'll maybe we'll get friends to be here during the stream and voice each character. Cause clearly I'm just bad at memorizing the different there's so many characters. It was really fun though. Dude, honestly, I might do more visual novels like this, like Dung Dunganropa and stuff. Ronpa, whatever. How 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 do you pronounce it? Sorry, I'm so bad at pronouncing that word. Um I might do that. You got an ending stream card? I do. I do. It's made by Cloud. I don't like to use it uh, at the end because I like seeing my face. <laughs> but look, it's so cute. It's made by Cloud. Um, I normally use it like right at the very end um, to like before I hit the stop streaming button. Let's find someone to raid. Is there anyone who would be live right now? Uh Uh Trixie's live. Oops. Ah, mute. Sorry. 
almost played his stream. Um, let's let he's making music that looks very cool. And you guys are, I mean, a lot of you are from Ellie's stream, you know, you are uh, fans of music and the like. So, yeah, listen, I um, appreciate you guys being here. It's been Joe Hills is live. I, I don't, I don't know if uh, Joe Hills. I think he's too big for uh, my four viewers to cause <laughs> any chaos over there. But listen, I uh, appreciate you guys being here. This is a very fun stream. I've clearly lost a lot of energy at the end of it, but I had a lot of fun voicing the different characters. And I definitely want to do stuff like this again. Um, and yeah, keep a lookout on the Vod Archive channel. Go back and clip, st clip stuff if you uh, find anything funny, because I would love to turn those into shorts and things um and yeah i appreciate all your support today was a really fun stream this is like a good reminder of why i love streaming genuinely so um i'll be back soon don't know what my next stream is gonna be or when um check twitter before bed i i plan on it i haven't checked it all day so i should really check it um but yeah thank you guys and enjoy trixie's stream goodbye <laughs>